Hello. It is indeed early. 3.40 in the morning. My sleep's messed up. I woke up at like 11 p.m. <laughs> so, early is relative at this point. I don't know what time it is. I don't even know what time zone I'm matching up to with my sleep cycle. Probably the middle of the Pacific. Uh, Tish fan? Is that how you pronounce that? Thanks for, thanks for the prime. Probably unmute the game. Hold on. Okay, let me get this out of the way. All right, hello. It is not six in the morning. It's 3.40 in the morning <laughs> in the correct time zone. By the way, my stream's going fine, right? I'm not seeing any drops according to OBS. So. Ew, imagine being East Coast. Gross. That's even more American. Can't have that. <laughs> I do love how when people look at different regions of America, it's like all the way down in the middle over there. That's just the whole South to them is just like Texas. And then there's just Florida. And then all of the Northeast is just like New York. <laughs> Then the Midwest is just all of that's just like Detroit, Cleveland, Chicago, like that whole thing. And then you go to the West Coast, and according to people, the whole West Coast is just like California. To them, there's nothing else. So many people do not realize that there is no connection between California and the Pacific Northwest. It's so separated. Even though Oregon and California shares a border, that's not populated. Like Portland's on the Washington border, and San Francisco is in the middle of the state. To get to San Francisco from Portland, that's 630 miles. <laughs> so, like, yeah, we're, we're not connected to them. So I stopped streaming in the middle of the jungle, I think. I don't know. I want more... The one thing about Turok I've always wanted is I always, I always wish there was just no humans in Turok. Just to have everyone be lizard men. <laughs> Warring tribes. Way better. Way more interesting. Also, that was actually one of my biggest disappointments with Turok 2008. Uh, all the enemies are just humans. It's just humans and dinosaurs. There's no, like, anything else. What happened to all the different, like, species? All the different snakes and reptiles and stuff? Like, why? <laughs> why did that happen? Where, where did those go? Oh, dude, the cover art has been made, like, it's been used for everything. I actually have footage of my roommates and I going to a local mall and going into an import shop. And it's like, oh, hey, that's the Turok Evolution poster. Like, there's a poster of the Turok Evolution cover. But it was, like, made into one of those, like, pseudo 3D posters where, like, if you go to the sides, it kind of looks like it's popping out a little bit, like one of those. It's just everywhere. I don't know what it is about this cover art. It is very cool, but it's just kind of funny it got used. Why does it default to that? No game. Bad. Stop. We do not let people play with inverted controls.
Yeah, I think I do think the 2008 version is also kind of overhated, but at the same time, this yeah, it is also just sort of a generic shooter. Sneak attack on me, I saw it. I don't see you, you fuck. I know, the only dinosaur games we have nowadays are just fucking survival games. I don't want to play Ark. Just give me a regular game. Oh my god, hit it. Wait, hold up, hold up. Might be a reason for that. That, wait. No, where is it? Hold up. That's why. That's much better. Uh, the controls in this game are not like modern controls. By the way, is my stream dropping at any point? Or like stuttering or needing to like reload? Not all the settings, just a few ones. Just aim assist. Well, not aim assist, they call it auto aim, which is not really true. Uh, this one on the three, no, this is not on the 360. This is like 2002. <laughs> Come on, does this look like a 360 game to you? It is backwards compatible, so you could use it, but this is not a 360 game. Uh, I'm running this through Dolphin. This game does have a PC version, but it's very, very bad. So it's better to emulate it. It's early, I'm high. <laughs> Understandable, have a nice day. Oh, here's one. Can I climb that? Uh oh, uh oh, what the? F well, hold up, what the f fuck are you? No, not, uh, not that. Oh god! I did not blow up. Oh. Where's my shotgun? Did I run out of shotgun ammo? I think I did. Oh wow, that, that kills him quick. Okay, this is the gun to go to. Morning chat. Oh boy, you guys are doing good. Oh, I paused right as that happened. Hold on. I, I want to test my internet right now. I'm going to run a speed test. Stream might do something a little bit fucky while I'm doing this. I think my upload speed might be shooting itself for no reason. So I just want to see. There's no ADS. It's just hip fire. This is an old game. ADS wasn't a thing back then. Okay, my download speed's good. So how's my upload speed? Take this moment to hydrate. Okay, no, my upload speed's fine. I have to remind my friends so much to drink water. Drinking water is hard. It has no flavor, it's boring, it's not interesting. 
these things come to life. Uh, yeah, it's boring, it's not interesting, but it is healthy. Oh, well, the scope on the pistol is, uh... That's the split function, so... I knew I heard more of you. I am stuck. In all reality, those enemies are just reskinned, like those weird snake monk things that run at you with the spears. But the idea is cool, so I'm fine with it. Yeah, ADS really wasn't popular. It wasn't even 2004. ADS really didn't get popular until 2007. Like, that's when it kind of was just like the mainstream expected thing for your game to have. Before then, it wasn't like if it was there, it's cool now. Uh, but it certainly wasn't expected. Dinosaur! Get away from me. Couldn't even leave me with 69 health. That's who I was hearing. I like the fake ragdoll. You're trying to snipe me with a shotgun. Feels like a trap. They gave me lots of minigun ammo? Something's gonna happen. Who? Oh, are you fuck? I didn't say there's a scope hand. Stop that. I have covered every Call of War game. Oh, I see that. Okay, this guitar in the background. It always sounds like that one Zelda song, and I keep expecting it to go into the Zelda song. Does anyone else get what I'm what I'm going out here? I don't know what Zelda song it is, but like Oh. No, it's not Kokiri Forest. Okay. All right, I'm almost out of shotgun ammo again. That feels like it's not the way... Okay, I was gonna say. It does not feel like the way to go. I almost just jumped, not thinking about it.
All right. Uh, so helpful hints. Before you ask me to, you know, review a game or something like that, search my channel. <laughs> there is a search function on my channel. If there isn't, if you're on mobile, just search, you know, the name of the game and then Jerick the Game of Dragon. And if I've done it, it'll show up. I get like so many comments that are just say nothing but play insert game here you already covered years ago. And it, just, it spans my comments. And it's just really annoying. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's just super annoying. No, having a stronger GPU is better for emulating. You need more power to emulate things. Low power GPU would that that wouldn't mean anything. Oh, I see you. What the? You know, I feel like these wouldn't be in such a tiny body of water. I feel like they would need to be in the ocean instead of stranded in this tiny ass lake. Like, actually. Uh, I really don't want to go in that water, though. Look at them all. For real, how would they all, like, work in this one little... T it's not even... I mean, I guess this is a lake, but this is a super small lake. It's more like the end of a river. Which I, I guess is a lake. <laughs> Technically, if you want to say that. Ah. Oh. Hey, possums here. All right, need to get to that. Oh, wait. What is this? Plasma cannon? Is that new? Oh, what the fuck? That was janky, okay. Alright, what did I just get? Hold up. Oh, this is new. Hmm. I mean, I know a lot of other possums. Okay, maybe not a lot, but I do know, like, two or three others? Two others off the top of my head? Probably not the only one. Look at all the tiny dragonflies. Can I, uh, can I hit the dragonflies? Are they actually interactable? No. They even make noises. Uh, what? I thought there was one over there. Okay, well. Oh. Get rid of these guys. Personally, I wouldn't want to be so close to the water with these things. So aggressive. Exactly that? Holy shit. <laughs> the fuck? Why are there so many in this one lake? Ow. They are super aggressive. What did I do to you? Leave me alone. Okay, ladder. Work, please. There we go. All right, I gotta go over to that one. Will they attack me if I'm up here? I don't think so. Wait, is that a boat? They are still attacking me. What the? Leave me alone. I didn't do anything to you. Just trying to let you live peacefully in your tiny shitty lake. Hold on, why did they not attack the enemies? They were also super close. Oh, hello.
boat. Uh, how do I get up here? Can I get up there? Sure I can. More polished in 2077? Was there dinosaurs in 2077? Yeah, the funny thing is about this uh, this game is that okay there has to be an actual way to get up there Does this work god jumping in this game is so awkward if you're touching anything uh oh uh oh I got stuck for a moment that's invisible wall can't go that way uh oh okay wow I actually made that true I just wanted that health. There's even little fish in here and they're attacking me. But yeah, the funny thing about this game is I feel like depending on what part of the game you're in... Oh, it's a cave. It's either really good or really bad. This game has, like, the full spectrum. It's either really fun, really, really mediocre, or just annoying. Like, truly the full spectrum. But these jungle levels, I actually really like these jungle levels. I always have. These are the things I remember. If I think of, like, Turok Evolution, these levels are the ones that come to mind. Who? Oh. Oh, what the fuck? I want the jump, and I could not jump. Uh oh, I got stuck. I really want Jurassic Far Cry. Please. Also, I don't know why I can't just use that boat. just tried to hit me. God, ladders are picky. Pinky. Welcome. Thanks for falling. Oh. Gotta swim into a cave somewhere, I think. Let's go get that one. I could probably ignore it, but, like, let's just do it. I do want to know why the hell these huge things are in this tiny little lake. Like, think about that from, like, an evolutionary... Or, not really evolutionary perspective, but, like, long-term perspective. Like, how do they end up here? They wouldn't have... Such a large creature wouldn't stay somewhere like this. Like, naturally, they wouldn't have ended up there. So they would have had to be, like... This would have had to be an ocean that got cut off at some point. I would just make that... Oh, wait. No, I can't make that jump. I need one more. It's that one up there. Leave me alone. I did nothing to you. I'm being nice. Ow. They're so aggressive. Where did that cave go? Oh, there we go. That's how I get over there. Didn't see that ladder earlier. Ladder, please. Ladder, please. Thank you. Come on. 
course, you ended up behind me. Oh, not that one. I mean, yeah, natively freshwater, sure, but this is not a large freshwater body of water. I'm probably going to fall out the moment it loads in. Okay, cool. Like, this is way, way too small for creatures that big. There's not enough food. Sap ladder, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> Someone's falling. Infection. Welcome. Thanks for falling. Glad you're here. Yeah, like, they would need huge, huge bodies of water. They'd need, like, Great Lakes level of water, at least. What the? Okay, sure. Alright, we made it. 69 ammo. Beautiful. End of level? Yeah. That did damage to me! I wonder if I'll have that health lost when we load in. How's the PC port been? Yeah, I've not been playing the, the PC port, as other people have said. The PC port's really, really bad. So bad to the point of I'd rather emulate using a controller like it's that bad i won't fully cover how much worse it is i'll briefly touch on it in the the full analysis but like digital foundry already made a video on that so i can kind of just reference that video and show clips of it and then put a, a card out and be like hey if you want to watch it afterward go ahead Also, perspective is always funny when it comes to lakes. How big a lake is kind of depends on where people are from. Like, we have a lot of water. I'm in Oregon, so we got a lot of water here. So we got some pretty big lakes. Although, fun fact, most people that live in Portland have never been to Crater Lake. Because Crater Lake is really, really far away. Even though it's still in the same state, it's like an eight-hour drive from here. Because it's on the complete opposite side of the state, and it's also kind of out of sight, out of mind, too. It's just not really in a part of the state you're going to go to. Like, it's just middle of nowhere. Which is a good thing, really. Honestly. People don't trash it, because it's hard to get to it, so it doesn't have that many visitors. Crater Lake is really pretty, though. It's very unique. I need more shotguns. Oh, it's the bird. I don't think birds are hostile. Even though they are carnivores, apparently. Well, I guess that's not really a surprise. Birds in real life will eat anything. They're so dumb, they'll eat things bigger than they are and then die. So, <laughs> birds are not the smartest. What's the word from the outpost? They've busted the old man out. That soft-skinned General Proctor let them get through into the jungle. Why the hell does Tyrannus want a human general? It's an insult. He may be human, but he's dangerous and ambitious. Yeah, well, I don't take orders from humans. Let's try this new plasma gun. Some PS2 ass load times. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Um... The GameCube version is, or not the GameCube version. The um, the emulator loads very slowly. Let's try 
Ooh. That's one sick ass split function. kind of sick. It's probably the best one of the game so far. Uh oh, I'm out of ammo though. Those lizards really hate humans. I mean, can you blame them? <laughs> What what good is, have humans ever done? Yeah, I played Project Snowblind. That's another game I need to cover eventually. Humanity very much so is a menace. Who? Just shot. Who said that? Oh, there you are. I swear I thought I saw a third one, but I guess not. Thaw a third one. RoboQuest is so good. Like, honestly, RoboQuest is really, really underrated. I don't- well, actually, it's not underrated. People just don't know about it. Uh, it's just a hidden gem. Like, one of the few times that that phrase actually works. I think I'm going backwards here. Yeah, I'm going backwards. No, I've never heard of that game. Get up here. Really, I can't even climb that? What is this shit? Vertically impaired. There we go. There has to be a teleporter around here somewhere. Let's just let them throw up. I wonder if that poison will be dead lady humans too. Lots of birds. So it's when it comes to like ringing heavy gunner Vietnam, like, so I've never heard of that game before, but I'm going to make a guess as to what it is. It is an attempt to make a realistic shooter that's. Kind of the quote unquote realistic mod like military shooters. And those for that age age so poorly and are so bad and just are not fun. Plus battery, nice. 
Like, another one like that, that people constantly recommend me that I have no interest in playing is Project IGI. People love it. It was like a childhood game of theirs. It's so fun to them, but they haven't played it in 15 years, and it's really fucking bad, and it does not age well. Shooter, like, those military shooters were trying to kind of find their groove. Like, the whole genre was sort of figuring itself out back then, and it does not play well today. So yeah, I, I just don't really have any reason to play a game like that, because... There we go. Because the only response I'm going to get is everyone that wants me to play it are the only people that have heard of it, and they just want me to confirm that it's a really good childhood game. Their favorite childhood game is awesome, and they want to hear people praising it, and then I come along and go, this game's fucking shit, and it aged poorly, and then everyone's mad. And, like, I just... There's no benefit to it. I play a game that I don't find enjoyable, and people get mad at me. Woo. Yeah, I know of Atomic Heart. Pretty excited for it. Yeah, I, man, I've been getting a lot of people talking about RoboQuest. I wish that video got more views. That game is so fun. Uh, apparently, there's a beta release they just did. It has, like, a new patch that almost invalidated everything I said. It totally changed a lot. And uh, Fox has been playing it. Fox says it's really fun. He's, he's been enjoying it. How much plasma energy do I have right now? Not much. I press jump. I'm gonna need to find that Zelda music. It's just driving me crazy. I don't know what song it is, but I keep expecting it to finish. Uh oh, okay, I got stuck for a moment. Press crouch and it unstuck me. I'm trying to, I really don't know what song that is. It's one of the ones you can play with an ocarina. So it's not like random music in the background. Oh fuck, jump please. Oh, that's a visible, I can't jump, okay. Uh, so what do I do here? I have a minigun ammo, which is nice. How much of that do I have? Quite a bit. I feel like there probably should have been enemies that attacked me here, but. Not that. You ever shot dinosaurs with a minigun? A minigun that has like 18 barrels? Might be 15, I think it's only 5? Yeah, I think that's 5 barrels per thing and there's 3, so I have 15 barrels. Which is ridiculous. Hold on. Song feeling, I, I need to... I need to look. No, not Discord. Go away, Discord. Nobody asked. No one wants you. No, that is not what I'm asking for. <laughs> I literally want the, the original song. Yes, it's this one. I keep expecting this melody to keep going because it's almost exactly this in the game. 
It's been bothering me. I've been hearing it every time. It's not playing right now, though. Uh, are there supposed to be more enemies, or... What's going on here? It's not that it's iconic. Uh, it's that this game, one song specifically in this game, has that same thing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, sure. Let me just destroy everything. Uh, you're not double sending messages on my end. What many shotgun shells do I have? I really need more. It's pretty clever to show you basically exactly what happens uh, if you close that by going onto it in a cutscene. So you know that you can die if you stand in there so it doesn't just kill you randomly out of nowhere. Oh, I gotta do this fast enough. Okay. Oh. I want more shotgun. I want my quad barreled shotgun. All right, cool, I made it. Wait, is it even quad barreled? Is it? Oh, it's six, not not four. Angry monkeys? Yeah, angry monkeys. What did I ever do to you? Leave me alone. All right, your kind all dies. These guys do not care if they're dead or alive. Oh my god, the muzzle sway. I shot that one off. Climb that? No. Someone. I, I heard the angry monkey noise. What the fuck away from me. Monkey. Uh, where's the health? Did I pick up the health? I thought I had full health when I walked across it. Where the. There it is. All right, uh, what do I do here? Ah, oh, ladder. Didn't see this one. <laughs> hey, bye. Oh, sick. That's so cool. I'm not going to use it right now, though. I need something good to actually kill with. Alright, who was sh shooting? Oh. Like how they have a tank.
They're not actually using the tank. Muzzle swipe, please. Okay. Okay. I can't jump. I was trying to back up, but this got me stuck. Gonna say this seems like a trap. And yeah. Oh god. Oh god damn it. Now we're gonna have to do for more flying sections. Here we go. I don't know how long this one lasts. Patient microbe. Why is everything blowing up? <laughs> Thanks for following. Why did everything blow up? The tank killed itself. I thought it was the tank shooting at me, but no. It's apparently not what happened. Yeah, nobody likes the Star Fox levels. They're just kind of annoying. We got enemy activity up ahead. Need water. I can just fly through everything and really not care. Oh, I'm already almost dead. I can't see shit because of the screen shake. Holy. Oh, Easy Why would they? I'm mostly just trying to avoid them. It's just kind of easier that way. Why are the tanks... Oh, that's not a tank. I thought it was a tank just on the side of the wall. I can't see shit. Someone raided. I really can't see who. Raided with a party of nine. Someone else also raided. Sorry, I can't look at the chat at the moment. Oh my god, I died. I think I was a loading screen right there. Party of 19 and a party of 9. Virtual Graves and Cosmic. Thank both of you guys. Welcome, everyone. You joined in at one of the most... The boring parts of this game. <laughs> it's hard to fly and uh, look at chat at the same time. Especially since nobody really likes these levels. Like, they're just kind of annoying, and no one bought this game to play mediocre, low quality Star Fox. I would like the health, but I cannot go for that. Why would they be in hot air balloons? Like, here, I want you to shoot me. Oh, that killed me. I thought I was just going to graze off it. So one of the biggest problems I have is that I've rebound a lot of my controls. Uh, and I've bound things to try to be like Halo controls, like Bumper Jumper. So I have paddles on the back of my Elite controller. And my right paddle, my top right paddle, turns left. My bottom left paddle turns right. So if I want to make a sharp turn, I have to like think for a moment. Because it's like not intuitive. And you can't double bind. So, like, pressing the face buttons isn't going to do anything. So, uh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh god. I could use health. That would be health. Then I'll bump. Oh, it's not health. That's. Oh, well, wow. They just fucking melted me. God damn it. And then they flew into the rock wall. Every game has at least one of those. Yeah, this has multiple of them and nobody wants to play them. This game is such a up and down game. Like the jungle levels, I do feel are genuinely really fun. And then you go to the inside levels, which are all gray and brown. They're just so boring and linear, and every single one of those levels feels like it lasts way longer than it needs to. Uh, and then you have these levels, which are just genuinely really, really bad, and like nobody really wants wanted to play them. Oh, the tank got destroyed. What was even hurting me there? Oh god, get me out of here. No, not that way. Well, I didn't get the health. Hang on, man. This is about to get intense. Stay clear of those rocks. Oh god. Again, I have to think for a second about which way I want to lean. You don't have to do every game controller like bumper. Yes, I do! <laughs> Because then I have to, like, reprogram my hand, my brain, as to, like, what my basic controls are. Like, I want to be able to jump with left bumper. My mind is so stuck with that. I just wish I could make my flying controls different from my, like, regular controls. the trick is to mostly just ignore them. Ow. Well, lucky there. A nice fat transport. Hang on, man. This is about to get intense. Stay clear of those rocks. Ow, what the fuck even hurt me there? God damn it. This is right where I got before. <sighs> yeah, this is the part that a lot of people go, this game fucking sucks, and they just stop playing it. We got enemy activity up ahead. Save your rockets for armor and fortified positions. Your 50 cal will shred anything not behind two inches of steel. Let's just try to go fast as possible. See how this works out. Give them less time to shoot at me. And more time for screen shake to kill me. Well, at least get me better at flying. Working okay so far. Until that happened. Well, lucky there, a nice fat transport. Hang on, man. This is about to get intense. Stay clear of those rocks. We got enemy flyers coming in. Dive! 
Holy shit. All right, let me slow down a little bit through here. Health. Is that actually health or is that? Yes. Nice. All right, let me just uh, save state. I don't care if it's cheating, I'm save stating. Then I can try to go fast through here and just avoid them. Holy screen shake. Good. Okay. Gotta go through there. I found my solution. I didn't even need the save state. They could, when it loads, they could at least give me full health. There we go. We got infantry. Faster. Tanks, tanks. Oh, I missed the health. When I'm going this fast, they actually have a hard time hitting me. Although anything that could be a surprise will kill me. Any fast turns, anything falling. If it forces me to go down like that because I was at the top of the skybox, that could possibly kill me. Oh god, slowing down. Bye. Yeah, I think I found my solution. Just go fast. I think just going fast is just the way to win. Why are they putting all of these reptiles on hot air balloons? It's like a carnival game. Oh god. Okay, I killed them all. Sorry, I'm not talking to chat too much. I want to get out of these levels. Save state. Going fast. Like I'm picking up all this ammo, but like, I don't need it. <laughs> what I actually need is help. Whoa. Oh God, I'm gonna die. That didn't kill me. <laughs> How did that initial one not kill me? <laughs> I want to retexture this game. Make every rock of the rock. On oh, ass. Cool, I'm just gonna keep going. Well, looky there, a nice fat transport. Holy shit! What now why did that do no damage to me? I mean it did a little, but like 
Not much. Oh, my. Slow down through here. Oh my god, stop melting me, please. Look how much damage they're doing to me! How am I supposed to avoid that? Oh god, that was very close. Holy shit, that was close to me. You said that like to oh. Our fire can't break through that shield. We have to take out the shield generators inside the Oh fortress. my lord, look how much damage I've taken. What am I supposed to do there? Holy shit, I immediately just got melted the moment I went into that area. I wish the cheats were easy in this game. I would just put on god mode and not care. Now I'm gonna have to do all that shit over again too. Nice. Save state. Heads up, we got company up here. I don't care about your company, I'm just gonna keep on going. to ignore all the enemies. I don't know. Do I need to shoot the top of them? Oh god, I almost flew right into that one. Look at my health. At least this respawns. Okay, no, I don't. Was close. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore that one and go up here for health. Oh, the health didn't respawn. That's a problem. Alright, gonna try to get back to health. Okay, respawned. Good. Slowing down a little bit. Yeah, it's not the flying that's hard. It's just you take so much damage. It's like not really any way to avoid it. Oh, more health. Nice.
Oh, I got no more rockets. Is there an overdrive or something? Yeah, here we go. That screen shake can fuck off. I can't see shit when it does that. How I miss the cheat code days. Uh, I mean, for us, it was usually just put things on the console. I uh, will do that after I grab more health. I almost killed myself by doing that. That's the control tower, right? Is that where I'm supposed to be aiming at? Ooh, that was pretty close. No, wait, do I have to fly in there? That's the control tower? I don't want to. Slow down real quick. Look inside here. Oh, I do. Okay, that is indeed what I have to do. All right. Ooh, wrong way. Oh, this side is not the correct way to come in from. That's what she said. Thank God. I thought I was gonna like go to a cutscene and then pause and I would reload and just fly into the wall like last time. All right, that's done. <laughs> I missed the big head mode. I missed that regular sheet. Long loading times at least let me drink water. Am I on the ground now again, please? Yes. Okay, back to regular shooter stuff. They shot down my dinosaur. How would you ever do such a thing? Good. Fuck it, I don't want to fly the thing ever again. Hopefully that means it's the last time I have to do that this game. Look at that guy just walking up. Oops. How in the fuck did I lock onto you? Fuck uh, controls are nice. Oh, I still have that one. Oh, I don't have my plasma gun anymore? Lame. And why does it like swap weapons around? <laughs> Doing up there. And then he just jumps back down. <laughs> Good jobs, idiot. Oh, okay. I thought I could go up there. Cannot. Wait, no, okay, we can we can try out the shotgun or rocket launcher. Split function on this guy.
Holy shit, that's fucking brutal. God damn. Someone clip that, please. So while this game doesn't have the cerebral bore, and that is very disappointing, it does have that. So I think that makes up for it. Take cover and fire! Come on, man! Those turrets are killing us! Butchering the civilians alive! Oh my God! Did you see that turret? Um, I don't want to use rocket ammo. I'll use, I guess. Can I destroy this? Or am I just wasting ammo? I don't think I can destroy it. Um, what do I do here? Ow. I don't think I can climb this ladder without getting hit. Stop shooting me! Look at my health. Okay, what what do I do? Can I? Okay. Is there any way to destroy that? I shot it a bunch and nothing happened. Do I need to just keep shooting it? Just have more health. Oh! Freak, freak show. Look at that name. Thank you for the sub. Tier 1 sub, you have access to numerous emotes now. Nice, I got it. What'd I get? Oh, the name. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can skip that at least. Lol? Kill everyone, I guess. Shadows. I miss old gore like this. Three more men. We're spread too thin here. Where's our support? Where's our support? Do I even have any poison arrows? I do. Let's see how this turns out. <coughs> nope, it's just even faster acting to the humans. Rip. Take cover and fire. Come on, man. All right, I'm going to save state here. I think it's safe to say that I cannot destroy this turret. I can. That's just how much it takes? What is that shit? I don't want to waste all my rockets. Oh, 
Now I really, really need health. Give him a moment to start puking. <laughs> Best Turok, I don't care. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel kind of the same way. It's... What the... You puked and then stopped caring. Bitch. All right, all right, enough of this nonsense. Are you finally dead? Okay, thank you. surprisingly accurate what is it with video games and like harpoons and stuff being just like tremendously accurate and crossbows like that's not how bows work oh shit what the fuck How do I get down? Ladder? All right. All right, I assume that's how I... Hmm. Do I just make that jump? I feel like that's what I have to do. <gasps> I'm slipping. Okay, I'm fine. I gotta save state. In case I fall. Because ladders can be very, very picky. This is definitely more fun than a real bow for this style of game. But if I'm playing like a realistic shooter, then I'm gonna want like a more realistic bow. I mean, it depends on the game. The answer to 99% of the questions you will ask will be, it depends. <laughs> it is very rarely a uh, black and white answer to things. I made it, well. Guess that it is what I am supposed to do. One of them teleported in. More turrets, really? Those things require so much to kill. I don't have that many rockets. Can I go buy them? <gasps> no, no, no. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Aside from the fuck ton of damage I'm gonna eat from trying to get out of that. Okay, what even killed me there? Good thing I have a safe state. Something behind me? The turrets couldn't shoot me for that angle. Can I shoot them? Can I pull a half-life and do... Ow. Stop.
I see those feet. That one's still alive. I think. Yeah. Not for long, though. It's very hurt. What the? There we go. That was my last arrow. But that doesn't answer my question of what do I do here? Man, you ever screamed while underwater? Are those floating boxes rocket ammo? I don't think so. Let me- hold on. I'm gonna have to load in tech. No, don't aim assist onto them. Let me get these people out of the way. Think he's dead? That, that one's gone. Is that it? Okay, cool. I like how the, the L just doesn't get cut off. Also, this uh, melee weapon doesn't have a split function. Most people don't remember the 361. I disagree. I've been kind of spammed to cover it. And I'm getting tired of saying, yeah, I'm going to cover it. I just wanted to cover this one first. Dude, sounds like you passed a kidney stone. Oh, dude, it'd be a lot more pain if you passed a kidney stone. I'm so glad I've never had a kidney stone. Kidney stones fucking terrify me. That's like the, sounds like the least pleasant experience you could ever have. Okay, that's why I got confused. You have to hold down the split... F Wait, no. Yeah, no, the, the split function is just hold down the melee button. It's not the regular split function. That's why. Okay, that makes sense now. For bastardizing... For I don't think it bastardized the franchise. I think it's a little bit of an exaggeration. Oh my lord, fucking stay still.
Okay, no more health. Let me do this real quick. This is arguably the best gun of the game. Oh, eh. Lore is kind of the thing I feel like. I don't think people care about lore that much <laughs> in a Turok game. I think most people just look at it as this is that game you get to play with dinosaurs in it and weird lizard men, right? All right, this guy surrenders. Fucking beautiful. Oh, really? How is that not a headshot? I saw that ladder. What? Look, that was what I was trying to do. That looked like a person. Why does this look like something you see in Star Wars? Going in just in time for war crimes. I'm gonna save because I do not trust ladders in this game. Oh my god. I was so close to just walking right up the cliff. Now it kind of just looks like Halo. Purple bridges. Whoever's shooting at me, it's really terrible aim. They're all above me, so they don't know I'm here. Well, they do, and they can't really get to me. Oh, hi. You want to surrender? I miss old-fashioned gore. For some, something about it, the sound effects, the big chunks, very satisfying. <laughs> More war crimes! Yeah! What's the ladder I came in on? There it is. I don't think there's anything down there. There's gonna be a bunch of them here. Oh my god, I actually made it out. Are they above? They're all above, I think. No, they're not. Drago coming and yelling. Hi, 
haven't seen you in forever. Where have you been? Uh-oh. Okay, it's for rocket launcher time. You hit a deer. Look, that's not what dragons are supposed to do, deer. I don't want to waste this on you. But, oh, I can use this. <laughs> that's just unfortunate for him. rockets. Good thing they're all over the place here. requires four rockets. Like, damn. Okay, but I'm still full on rockets, so it's all good. I hear pitter-patter. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, that's why I was hearing them. Give me ammo. Oh, I guess I'm full on shotgun shells. Let's go ahead and use those. I know I agree with that. The swarm boar is, is better than cerebral boar. It's like Shrevel War, but more extreme. Uh, it's not a little suppressed pistol. It's like a harpoon launcher that turns into a minigun. But yeah, you did see that. The designs in this game are pretty cool. I like how crispy the loading screens look because you're not supposed to see them on widescreen. Or at 1440p. Gohan Rodriguez, thank you for following. Welcome, just noticed. And Haim also followed like 30 minutes ago. Don't know if you're still around. I'm in that mood where I just really want snacks. I'm not even hungry, I just want snacks. I'll probably get something to drink and that would fix that. That's like almost any snack, though. Where do they go? Uh oh, I think it's a minigun time. That's not a minigun. When did I get this? I have like no ammo for it, so I'm gonna save it.
Okay, just don't have much. Are you, uh... Are you having a good time there? This is really going ham. Really hands that tank. Fruit make for great snacks. I love fruit, just in general. So, that's all good. I stuck person walking behind me. Do I have any poison arrows? No. I don't know why it's a hot take that... I don't know, I, I like Turok Evolution's guns. I don't think they're any... I did not realize I was low in health. I don't think they're any worse than um, than the previous Turok games. They're still pretty interesting. It wasn't until Turok 2008 that they kind of just had regular, somewhat boring, generic first-person shooter guns. Still don't think that game is bad, but it's not great. It's just kind of mediocre. Still a shit ton of sugar. I mean, it depends on what fruit you're eating. Regular fruit is pretty good to snack on. I mean, too much of anything is too much. Fruit juice doesn't really have any advantages to you. That is just kind of like a lot of sugar and pretty unhealthy. Like, you cut out pretty much everything that's good about fruit and just eat the sugar when it comes to fruit juice. I don't really know if that applies to, uh... Get down. To smoothies, to be honest. I feel like if they're actually fresh-made smoothies, I feel like it wouldn't be that bad for you. Because I love smoothies. Like, actual smoothies. I don't like John Juice. It just doesn't, doesn't taste like smoothies to me. Oh, they're shooting each other. Well, rip that tank and all of them. I really do need more ammo. Like, what guns do I have to use here? I get, I got, uh, I got an okay amount of ammo for this. I just don't want to use it. No, give me the rockets. What the? I can't shoot it. There we go. It was taking a really long time to, to shoot. Oh, what the fuck? You know, let's stick this guy. Oh, what? There we go. I thought they would, like, freak out. I, okay, Orange Julius at least feels like a smoothie, right? It has that texture of a smoothie. Jamba Juice just, it's like sugar water. That's what it feels like to me. The 
It's still not the best. I'd still rather, like, actually blend up fruits and, like, really make a proper smoothie. I can't be alone in that. Okay, nice. I got him. I really... I, I need my minigun. I just don't have an automatic to deal with these people. Yes, right on cue. Shotgun minigun. How many games have a shotgun minigun? The only one that comes to mind is Metro. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to my minigun. That killed that stegosaur so fast. Wait, is that a stegosaur? I don't want to waste my ammo. Wait, can I can I drive these? Oh. Yeet. Oh, what the fuck? Yeet. There we go. can actually use my shotgun here. Okay, for a moment I thought I couldn't get in there. Sulfader and RoboQuest. Uh, yeah. Basically. Macro gun. Uh, don't say that to furries. <laughs> I don't know what they'll come up with that. It's only five in the morning. I kind of want to order something. Not like food. Just like something to drink. I'm not a coffee person. So it's not really anything to order at this time. Like the only time I ever have coffee is like extreme iced coffee. That's like caramel and cream. And like basically you put so much in the coffee that you can't taste the coffee anymore, which is good for me. Because I don't know about you guys. But I have the uncommon opinion that coffee tastes fucking disgusting. People always tell me it's an acquired taste, but then why would I keep taste like why would I keep drinking it if it tastes like shit to begin with? It's just so bitter. I don't like the taste of bitter things. It's kind of a similar thing with alcohol. I'll have mixed drinks and stuff, but I mainly drink things because I like the taste. I don't really care about getting buzzed. Like it's just whatever. Who is... You know what, actually... You can tell they're dead when they stop saying oof. <laughs> and they just scream. <laughs> like, unironically. Stand up. Okay, you are officially dead. Put that guy's arm off. Is that, 
They started shooting each other. Oh. What? Are you kidding me? Can I just shoot through here? I can. I don't want to waste my, uh... That guy did not know where he wanted to go. Oh god. Oh, I'm out of arrows. It's unfortunate. But he is almost dead, so let's stop doing that. But yeah, I, I hate bitter. Uh, my taste preferences very sweet, sour, spicy. I love I like entirely on that. Oh shit! I didn't expect that to walk out of that door. Will this work against this guy? I'm trying to shoot it, but I can't shoot it. I don't think I can shoot it on him. That's unfortunate. I have 11 health now because I was trying to do that. You can only do it on certain enemies, which is really lame. Gee, I hope no more come out of that door. Do I have regular ammo? I don't. But I have full minigun ammo. Hello. Health. Grenades. Is that a... <gasps> you know, I don't know what I thought would happen there. So much plasma ammo, yes. Full on plasma ammo, I love plasma gun. Um, I like black licorice. I feel like the people disliking black licorice has always been kind of I don't know, really like weird and odd to me because it, I mean, it tastes fine. It's not like my favorite thing, but like it seems like some extreme taste to a lot of people, and I don't know, I've never really gotten that. Am I already out of ammo? Yeah, it was very uh, game breaking for multiplayer for sure. I do remember that. Come on, follow me. I don't. I find it funny that this game more or less had a gravity gun before the gravity gun, at least for enemies. Wait, well, I don't. I don't know how anyone could say. Uh, this game doesn't have unique weapons. Like, they're not Turok weapons enough. Like, what do you mean? These things are way weird Turok weapons.
Oh, okay, hello. You know what? Fuck it. Beautiful. I mean, I get why people... Whoops. I get why people hate this game. It's just very, very different from the other Turok games. So, like, I, I get it. It's not what they wanted. But then people kind of, like, exaggerate in those situations. Like, they start saying, making up new reasons why it's so bad, right? They start adding it. Like, they start, eventually they start coming up with reasons why the game sucks that makes absolutely no sense. Instead of just sticking to why they didn't like it, right? Does that make sense? And you start seeing that for, like, every game that gets popular enough to make people hate it. Like, every time someone's like, Call of Duty sucks because I've inserted this, this, and this reason, it's like, half of those reasons make no goddamn sense. What you actually want to say here is, Call of Duty sucks because it's the same thing every year and you've gotten bored of it. That does not mean all of those invalid, like, all those complaints you had are true. <laughs> now you're coming up with new things for reasons to hate on the game. What the? Airdrop lizards, okay. So, I don't remember the load times actually being that bad on the GameCube version. And I just kind of figured the emulator takes a long time to load. Is that right, or am I just not remembering it correctly? Okay, unironically, that's kind of a valid thing to complain about, though. I'm gonna drop a hot take. Call of Duty Zombies is really overrated, and not that fun. I don't get it. Modern Warfare 3 Survival was way better. I would have much preferred it if Modern Warfare 3 Survival... I got stuck. I would have much preferred it if Modern Warfare 3 Survival was, like, the standard. And we never really got another one like that. Okay, so it's the game? Okay, okay. Good to know. I do, so I never actually played the Call of Duty Ghosts, like, alien mode. I kind of want to try it, but that game is still a million dollars because Activision's fucking stupid. And, like, I have Ghosts, but I never bought any DLC. But my friends don't have it. And what's the point of playing it if you can't play with your friends? And then there are DLC maps that are expensive, so, like... Activision, please. <laughs> I wish I could just torrent it and play with my friends. I'm not going to spend $40 for Call of Duty Ghosts. No, it's still $60 on Steam, I'm pretty sure. Why? Like, if any of my friends wants to go buy Call of Duty Ghosts and try out the aliens mode with me, then I, I won't push them. But if they want to, sure, go ahead. But goddamn. Stick to the buildings and stay out of the streets, okay? What weapons do I got? Yeah. <laughs> 
This looks really similar to Halo 2, even though it came out like a couple years before Halo 2 did. Wow. What the heck? Oh, I think I just have explosive arrows. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm meant to do that either, but I did that. Ooh, poison arrows. Come back here. That does not mean run away. Oops. Alright, let's let him puke a little bit. No, only three games are compatible with the mouse injector. Trust me, I tried. I really wanted to use it. Nine snipers remain. I might have actually kind of soft locked the level. Yeah, but what is compatible with the mouse injector? It is Time Splitters, Serious Sam, and Nightfire. Um, so I found if you only shoot them once with the arrow, it most of the time will make them puke. If you shoot them twice, they'll generally just kind of die. But if you shoot them only one time with the poison arrow, it takes more time before they start puking and dying. Even at death, he was body blocking his first buddy. Look, get your technicality out of here. <laughs> Nobody asked you. Correct me, how dare you. <laughs> I have no faith in Time Switchers Rewind. They've totally restarted it. The group has been splintered. I could do that again, but I'm not going to talk. I want it to be clipped. Oh. Can somebody, uh, clip the gravity gun nonsense? Oh, I see you. Overkill this guy. Yeah, I have Future Perfect in the other room, but, like, emulating it's kind of the best way to play it. I think I did play it on console when I covered it. I, I just wanted to do it the, the original way. Get down.
Probably shouldn't be wasting arrows. I do have more shotgun ammo. Time shift? No. What? Time shift is a different game. Thank you, pizza. Fuck, I want pizza now. Plaza game on nice. Uh, time shifters is a totally different game. Alright, okay, so. I was talking about time shift is the so there's time splitters then there's time shifters which is something that's on steam that just came out then there's isn't time shift another game i covered i'm i'm pretty sure that's still the name of it that was okay it's kind of a game that's gotten a little forgotten it didn't deserve to be it was pretty good yeah it, yeah time shift is what i'm thinking of but also uh jay miller Welcome. Thanks for following. Uh, but there is a game on Steam called Time Shifters. Let me let me go to my desktop real quick so you guys can see this. Uh, desktop. Okay. We get to. God damn it! Hold up. Steam is being picky right now. There we go. Okay. Now we got it. This game, only five dollars. These guys contacted me, um, and they gave me they gave me a key for this game and said, "Hey, we want you to do an analysis video." It, it was less so like, "Can you?" It was more like, "Hey, we want you to do this." You know, something like that. Which whatever, just they seem pretty young, new to phrasing. And like when I saw this, just like little shots of this, it looked really good. Uh, but then I played it, and I decided I'm I'm not covering this. I would feel really mean. Uh, because it's this is not. Let's see. Let's see. How do they describe this game? Time Shift is an old school first person shooter inspired by games like Time Splitters and Goldeneye. See, the problem I have with it is that it says inspired by. This is not inspired by Time Splitters. This just is Time Splitters, like. If you want to be inspired by a game, you need to bring something new. And this is almost like a remake of Time Splitters 1. And it's not good. And I really didn't have many positive things to say. I'm surprised it has positive reviews, but it quite literally is just Time Splitters 1, but way worse, less innovative, and it made me kind of sad. I actually had it on my wish list, and then they gave me a key, and I was just, ugh, ugh. Yeah, I, I want an original Time Splitters game. Like, it, literally, the challenges are quite literally taken directly from Time Splitters for a lot of them. So it's not like they're taking the idea of Time Splitters and putting their own unique spin on it. It's just Time Splitters 1. And they didn't even remake the Time Splitters game that people really like, which is Time Splitters 2 or Time Splitters Future Perfect. It's just Time Splitters 1, but with the challenges of the later Time Splitters games. I, yeah, I don't. I'm not a fan. Uh, so I don't plan on making a video of it because I would feel really mean doing that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and everyone's basically saying it's just the same. 0.16 hours on record. It's It gets very boring. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Uh, I have a fundamental problem with what it's trying to be. Compared to what it is. It's like... Again, if you want to make an inspired game, it has to be inspired by. It cannot just be a direct... Like... You have to be inspired by a game. You can't rip a game off. This is ripping Time Splitters 1 off. So... Yeah. that That's my general feel about that. Uh... 
I am stuck on the ladder. Fuck, I'll just fall in this box over here. Okay, fuck this. Is there another one in here? Mini gun rounds, nice. Oh. Man, you really do get stuck on a lot of things in the environment. All right, good luck at work. Thanks for stopping by. Minigun battle. I did not say to waste an arrow, I said swap weapons. That makes me so sad. Alright, I'll let him start puking. She is dead. <laughs> There's always one slow one in there. Oh god. Oh god, not what I want. Get me up. Get me out of there. Please come down the ladder. I'll just do this. I'm gonna make a save state because I don't want to have to redo this whole level again. Oh god. Let me bank that off the wall. Okay, that got him. Yeah, pretty much. Hey Switch, I'm doing okay. Well, I was doing okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know you were there. What the? Oh, that hurt him. Wish I could open the door from here. Come on, another one. Come through. Metro Primer, Halo CE, Halo. Every day. That's where I was hearing the footsteps. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Literally one health. Alright, this is gonna be difficult. Well. Bro, 
Probably just easier to just do that. All right, let's just run through and try to shoot him. All right, well, those guys are dead. Let's see if I can actually get away with doing this. Nope. I don't think there's any way to do that. I'm just going to hope there is health down this way. Are you fucking shitting me? How? I don't want to believe that, but it honestly wouldn't surprise me. You were alive. 3 for 3 is incompetent. I had faith after Halo 5's amazing multiplayer, but that's literally the only good thing they've done with Halo. Literally one health. Where is the health? <laughs> Good thing I saved. Uh, excited I'm alive, thanks. Welcome, welcome. I don't know if I can physically shoot fast enough to make that work. I'll just try, I'll try something else. There we go. And I got health. Cool. Alright, game's easy again. Alright, I'm gonna take damage from this guy, but there's not really any way to avoid that. And now I got full health. Let's go... To be fair, the reason I got put into that position is because I wasn't really paying attention and I let myself get to low health. Halo 5 never needed to recover. Halo 5 on launch was really good. Uh, it was just missing some content, but it was already solid. Infinite, I can't feel the same way. I don't feel like it was really solid on launch. Like, I felt like everyone saw the potential there. But it was very incomplete. Like, let me let me give you an idea of how bad a 3 for 3 has mishandled Halo. So Halo Infinite came out like, a little over six months ago now. Six... After six months of Halo Infinite existing, Halo Infinite has less content than Halo 5 did at launch. How? How do you fuck up that bad? And on top of that, the hit reg feels awful. Netcode is terrible and dying around walls constantly and I can shoot someone point blank with a skewer and see the spike sticking out of their face and they don't die or even get hit. <laughs> like... There's so much wrong with the way they're handling Infinite. And Halo 5 never had this issue. Like, Halo 5's launch, there was a clear focus. They wanted the focus on the more competitive side. So that's what was there at launch. Everything that needed to be there for competitive was there. And then, constantly they rolled out a bunch of new content. Like, very regularly they would roll out a bunch of new content. This wasn't a season deal. It was just, look, here's some new maps, here's a new mode, we got everything, we've added Forge now, we have a ton of content now. So after, like, six months, Halo 5 had so much content. And Infinite, we've just not seen that. 
You know, so, so like since day one, I wanted to play Halo 5. Do you remember back when Halo 5 first came out and everyone made a big deal with the rec packs? Like how that was killing the game, quote unquote? When in all reality, it literally didn't affect the game at all. It's just cosmetic stuff. Now look at Infinite and how they're handling that. How they're handling cosmetics in that game. Like, I just, I can't rant about it enough. Like, how did they fuck up that bad? I feel like this is not the way to go. Halo Reach is your favorite FPS game? Ew. <laughs> Ugh. I don't feel positive about Reach. Halo Reach. Here's how I feel about Halo Reach. The campaign is fine. It, there's nothing about Halo Reach's campaign that's particularly great gameplay wise. But there's also nothing that's particularly bad. Like every other Halo game at least has one really bad level that people don't like. Halo Reach doesn't have that. It's at least solid all the way through. Uh, but then I hate the multiplayer. The multiplayer is just yuck. <laughs> Armor abilities didn't need to exist. A lot of the map layouts are worse. Like, why? Bloom is just Satan. I really hate all the ideas that they threw in. Like, that was why I was kind of lenient on 343. Uh, it's because Halo 4 and all reality just continued on where Reach left off. It just took every problem Reach had and made it like tenfold. And then Halo 5, they're like, wow, we really fucked up with Halo 4, so let's just go back to what Halo is known for. And it's more typical sort of arena multiplayer, and it was really good. And then Halo Infinite happened, and the core gameplay is still pretty solid, except for the actual experience is fucking ass. So, like, <laughs> what what is happening? Like, at one point, are we finally going to just get rid of 343 and give someone else the throne? I think I just have to backtrack a bit. Did I miss one of the snipers somewhere? Halo 4 is easily the worst one. The campaign's... it's fine. It's better than Halo 5's campaign, but the multiplayer is so much worse, and I care more about multiplayer, so... Ow, that did damage to me. What the fuck with Spartan Ops? Good question. So, I find it funny that there is a video, uh, if I remember correctly, the title is 343 vs. The World. And in that video, uh, it basically has a lot of clips from a lot of YouTubers that are, you know, pretty much talking about all the problems with Halo 5. And everything 343 said, and then everyone else was like, that's not how this worked out, the game really sucked. Um... And they used a few of my clips in there, which I'm totally fine with, because, you know, I ranted about that single player a lot, it was bad, it was very bad. Oh, I hear... I hear enemies. Oh. Yeah, this, this, that single player? Hideous. Like, so, so awful. But then also, I praised the multiplayer, and half of that video was ranting about, like, how the multiplayer is awful, and just using clips from people talking about how bad it is, and I'm just like, what? So it's funny how you didn't use any of my clips from that hmm real interesting really 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 interesting <laughs> like I don't have a problem with the video but like I don't think it really portrayed the multiplayer well or accurately I should say there's one last sniper somewhere where are you Am I just taking damage from- hold on, let me- Quick save, look around... The, it's not coming from anywhere. It says it's from behind me? I just am going to take damage because you're not supposed to be in the streets. If you do this, you take damage. No matter anywhere you are. Okay. Thank you. 
I do like Halo Infinite's campaign. It's kind of like the reverse of Halo 5. The, the Infinite's campaign is actually really fun. And I did say Infinite's campaign, believe it or not, for that year, out of all the games I played, I said that game was game of the year. Because, like, 2021 kind of sucked, honestly. Like, as far as games coming out, there wasn't really much. Yeah, it is a back end of combat because it wasn't bad. But I mean, it was fun, multiplayer or single player wise. It was fun. Yeah, I definitely don't consider it a bad single player campaign. But in no other year would that be game of the year. Derry. Derry bits. Derry's awake. I am. I'm missing a sniper somewhere. It's going to be a total pain in the ass finding it. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I like the story. I like the single player. Like, there's, I don't really have any major complaints about the single player. I think it was pretty solid. It's just the how they're mishandling the multiplayer, which where I'm, usually when it comes to Halo, the multiplayer is where I put almost all of my time. Halo 2 or 3? I feel like, objectively, if you just look at how polished and good the game is, Halo 3 is better, but for me, personally, if... I'm gonna say Halo 2, just for the multiplayer. I, I don't know what it is. Halo 2's multiplayer feels really good to me. The main thing is the... I don't like how the battle rifle feels in Halo 3. And pretty much all of the... All of the guns... Just... I hate how slow the projectiles are. That's the biggest thing that kills it for me. It doesn't kill it. Uh, that's exaggerating. I really like Halo 3. But, like, the gunplay doesn't feel very good compared to Halo 2. Uh, okay. I'm gonna look up a walkthrough. I cannot find this last sniper. So it's probably just hiding in a corner somewhere. Uh, Turok Evolution Long Play. There's a video I found earlier. So when he was in the jungle. This so is when he's flying. Is this the chapter I'm in right now? This is a chapter I'm in right now. Okay, I recognize all this. Let me go to my desktop so you guys can see what I'm looking at. The lighting is definitely very messed up in the emulator. I'll say that much. That or this is the Xbox version, but I think it's just that the emulator isn't doing lighting right. Let's let me look up the GameCube version. No, I think this is just how it looks on GameCube. I think the lighting is just a lot better on Xbox, which would explain why it runs as a low, low, low FPS. I have not tried the Xbox emulator, no. I've not really had a need to. There's not really any game on Xbox that didn't come out on PC. At least by now. I think... Yeah, no, I, th I think this is pretty much just how it looks. I don't know if it looks any different. I would have to be in the same spot, but okay. Oh yeah, no, it definitely looks the same. The Xbox version just graphically looks way better. But the frame rate's not as good, so. Yeah, I like how everyone remembers that. It is the puke arrows. That, like, sticks with you. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to find... I, I need to kill like eight snipers or something in this level and there's one left and I just don't know where they are.
Um, it's not upscaling textures. It's running natively at 1440, and I have a widescreen hack. I've done nothing else, so I've not. There's no mods to make it look better or anything. It's just a lot higher resolution. That's the main thing. Seven snipers remain, so he's already. Hold on, go forward. That's not where I am. That's a boss. It's definitely not where I am. I. Th How did he get up here? Hold up, where is he? Okay, so he just killed this. All right, so this is basically where I am. He just killed a sniper up here. What do I do here? Do you actually fall down there? There's no way. You can walk down here, so it's, that's just a shortcut. Okay, he's also walking around. Is that... Did I really just walk by that ladder? Is this actually where I need to go? Okay, that's the one. That's the last sniper. Also, wait, wait, hold up. I want to... Um, I want something. Can I... I can get an Italian soda right now. I'm feeling really tempted to do that. All right, Terry, here's the options I have. I could right now order coffee or I could order an Italian soda and not hate myself. <laughs> I could order something that actually tastes good. I had someone arguing just the other day that the GameCube was potentially the strongest out of the three back then, but like, no, not even close, <laughs> not, not remotely close. Okay. I'm ordering an Italian soda. What flavor? Oh man, I got so many flavors I can get. How is lavender a flavor? I attempted to get strawberry. I, I can mix strawberry kiwi. Strawberry kiwi sounds pretty good. I can choose a maximum of three. Strawberry kiwi pineapple. That sounds good. I might just stick strawberry kiwi. That might just be good enough. Both definitely do not sound amazing. Coffee is gross. Tastes like flour. <laughs> it's just Febreze. They just spray Febreze into a cup. <laughs> should I really add anything else? I think strawberry kiwi is good enough. Or should I add a little bit of pine? I'm, I'm feeling tempted to add pineapple to that. That sounds like that actually be pretty good. But I might be a little bit too much citrus to mix with that. Nah, fuck it. Strawberry kiwi. Good enough. Let's get that. And let's make a request of no ice. Am I the only one that really, really hates ice in my drinks? After like 10 minutes, the ice is all melted and it's just turned into water. And it's watered it down and it tastes gross. It's not just me, right? Back in the game. Yeah, just just let me have a cold. I heard somebody walking above me. Oh, that's the door. Yeah, just, just give me a cold drink and get rid of the ice. Warm diet coke, what the heck? 
disgusting. That's like the worst thing to be drinking. Zerg Typhoon. Gifted a sub. Defender. I'm gonna make a 90% accurate guess that you're both furries, judging off that name. <laughs> Tell me if I'm right or not. <laughs> Coke is only enjoyable cold. I mean, I can drink a warm Coke. I'm not, it's not gonna be the best thing ever, but also Diet Coke is gross and then you make it warm Diet Coke? Like, what are you doing to your taste buds? Thank God, no, I, hey, I take offense to that. <laughs> I wonder how, I wonder why I would ever take offense to that. Hmm, can't imagine. <laughs> I like fancy bears. <laughs> I, I'll just let you imagine your own things out of that. I don't even know what a hydralisk is. Ants on me. I need to find that one way to one of the roofs. I think this is the one I just walked up earlier. I have to backtrack quite a bit. Oh, Zerg. Okay, okay, that makes more sense now. My mind just clicked. I don't think anything... <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is true. Fucking climbing ladders in this game, man. In all reality, furries, furries can coexist with basically anyone, and that's actually kind of a problem. Because at some point, you, you need to not tolerate a certain type of people. I have to get over to that sky bridge. You ever eat dog food or cat food because you're curious? If not, why are you lying? No, because I'm not an idiot. What the f- who eats dog food and cat food? <laughs> what- what is wrong with you? Oh shit, can't go this way. For real, why would you do that? I have literally never done that. No. What about that seems appealing? This dried up disgusting stuff? A milk but No. None of that seems appealing. I want candy and stuff. I don't want dog food. Okay, I think I know how to get over there. Ladders, please. Saying I want candy brought back deep, deep Aqua Teen Hunger Force memories. Tasted like rubber. All right, here we go. I found it. 
Make this guy throw up. Okay, now I have to find my way to the main gate. The ladder has grabbed me? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck trying to use ladders, they just don't work. Okay, well, it makes a little more sense if you're homeless. You don't really have much choice. Or at least you're desperate, I should say. Oh, look at them all down there. Wow. <laughs> oh, I can turn over tables? Okay. Maps layout kind of sucks. Let's just not do that. How many grenades do I have? Not many. I'm going to save... How many explosive arrows do I have? Enough. Smooth or crunchy? Smooth. Smooth every day. And that's true for like 90% of food. Nuts do not belong in food. Uh, like chocolate. Nuts do not belong in chocolate. Terry, keep your dirty mind out of the gutter. I know what you're gonna say. Pad Thai, eh. Never been a huge fan of Pad Thai. I'm gonna say something more controversial. I've never been a fan of pho. Pho's just not... It's just bland. It's just bland soup noodles. I just... I don't see the, uh, the appeal. And it's, it's basically just affordable food because, you know, Vietnam food. It's not really a ton of money going around in Vietnam, so... I need to get to the other side somehow. to navigate this map. My favorite food in general, though, I'm just gonna leave them. They're just gonna run to the walls like idiots. My favorite... I like a lot of different food, though. Shawarma is really good. I love shawarma. Uh, teriyaki is really good. I like most Asian food. Korean barbecue is amazing. Not a massive fan of Mexican food, I'll say that. Never really have been. Okay, well, ramen is good, but that, like, needs to be authentic, fresh ramen. Like, real ramen. We have so many ramen places here. 
Well, yeah, but most people hate British food. It's British food. <laughs> like, what's the appeal there? I think I can just do this. This will probably do damage to me, but... That will hurt me a lot. Uh oh, I'm sliding. So okay, I'm fine. I think I just made that worse. Yeah, I definitely did. Well, uh, can't do a whole lot out of this. Could have been worse. Oh, hi. Hey, that's the end of the level. All right, cool, we did it. I mean, fish and chips are just like standard though. Also, I only really, I only recently learned the fish and chips, not fish and chips, uh, clam chowder is not a British thing. Clam chowder was not invented in the UK. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, yeah, it's that's of course British tea is better than American tea, but American tea isn't American tea. American tea is like Asian tea. It's herbal tea. It's very, very different. British tea is like a dessert compared to herbal tea. Dark Matter Cube. Dark Matter Cube is probably my favorite weapon in the game. Now it's a black hole. Doing so much damage to me. What is... Oh, those shoot at me? I think I need to get rid of... Uh Killing all the friendlies in the process. Oh, I see you. Such a funny, dumb way to do that. Alright, what do I do here? I feel like I need to get rid of the generator instead of wasting all my ammo. Can I destroy that? Is this possible to destroy? How do I get rid of this generator here? Holy shit, there's so many enemies. What is going on here? Oh. I'm gonna die here. 
Why did it go black for a moment? Oh my god, there's so many enemies in here. <laughs> there's no way I was going to survive that. All those enemies should not be around while there's a boss. I need to make a save state so I don't have to wait for this huge loading screen. Save state, so I never have to look to wait. Zerg subscribed. Thank you. Okay, this is a good way to save ammo. This gun shoots pretty slow. Just back up so none of them get behind me. Okay, thankfully I did no damage to me. This is where actually this works. Trying to save ammo. Can I skip this? I can. Alright. Dark Matter Cube. Thank god there are some of those guys. Oh my god, they got destroyed. Ugh. Why did it go that direction? I can't throw it until the other one's done. Get out of there. That's not doing anything to this guy. Alright, fuck it. Rocket launcher. Oh god. Oh, I missed. That big suck. Whoa! Find medkit. I feel like it's impossible to actually avoid taking damage from that. Oh my god. 
Do I have to climb up here? Can I get in here? No. Okay, it's limping, so I just keep doing damage to it. Oh my god. That person got absolutely demolished. Oh, get away. That actually damaged me, Jesus. These things have a huge last raise. The problem with throwing grenades is they're like Half-Life 1 grenades where they follow the direction you're running. Ouch. I feel like shotgun actually wouldn't be a terrible idea here. Do I just shoot? Oh! Did I just shoot the guy up there? Or is it just a really big hitbox that's making it seem like you do that? Okay, he's dead. Cool. You just have to kill him a bunch. You didn't miss the stream. You didn't. Welcome. New gun. I'm going to make a save state. Because I don't trust ladders in this game. What? No. Need nuke attachment. Nuke attachment. Wait, what? Wait, was that for the rocket launcher? Oh my god. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> Why do I not remember this? This is the best rocket launcher out of any game I've ever played. God damn. Save state again because these damn ladders. <gasps> okay. Someone clip that, please. I think. Another Dark Matter Cube. Nice. I'll probably lose it when this game loads, though. End of level? Yeah, end of level. Cool. Oh, man. Do you remember when consoles had memory card slots? I have my 360 with one sitting on it right here. A 360 memory card. It's been in there forever and I've never used it. <laughs> how how big is this memory card? 256 megabytes. I also have a hard drive on it, so I'm never going to use it, but still. Yeah, I'm using a widescreen hack. Uh, because there is no proper native widescreen in this game.
Oh. Sounds like Star Wars music. Is it just me? Well, now it doesn't. Look at they gave me this big arena and I just kind of murdered everyone from a distance. Look at all this shit. Where are they dumping this? Just out of the sky. Imagine you're just living your life and then someone flies over and just dumps shit all over your house. What? I'm sorry, how do you die? There you go. Plasma battery, nice. Some sniper fucks somewhere that I can't see through all the shit. I'm wasting poison arrows. Oh, that's all I have left. Let's, uh... Yeah, fuck it. Oh, I don't have any... Mm. This works for now. Trying to save ammo? This uses a lot of ammo. That'll just get closer. Bye! <laughs> I worked way better than it should have. The shotgun winking, so I basically am just loading up multiple shells to shoot. Like if I shot right now, I'd shoot like four shells, and then I could every with every pump I should like load up another shell. Basically, I heard someone talking. Oh, here we go. Do I have... Oh, I really want explosive arrows right now. I don't want to waste anything. Oh, not that. Okay, see right now I just fire one shell, but every time I load up one more, I'm loading in more shells. Can I? Nice. What a good throw.
This is a very, very long game, yeah. Plasma battery, all right. More ammo for my... For this. Okay, thank God I needed that. Oh, well, I'm already out of ammo. Favorite animal besides dragons? Well, dragons don't really exist, so I don't know if I could really classify that as my favorite animals. Possums are definitely not one of my favorites. <laughs> I like possums, but that's not my favorite. It would be a reptile of some sort. I love lizards in general. I would like to have a pet lizard, but I'm also work avoidant. <laughs> it's it's work having a pet. So that is the reason why I'm gonna say something so brave. Cats are better than dogs. Cats don't require me to walk them every damn day. You let them out. Let them do what they want. Let them in for the night. Give them food. That's all you got to do. So much less work. Much rather have a cat. Whatever happened to that Italian soda I ordered? Oh, it's about to be here. Cool. I really need ammo. Immediately get hit. One of them just got launched and is somehow fine anyway. Antimatter, nice. Are you gonna stop? Ugh, only one side stops. Uh. Oh, wait. Hmm. Dogs are rid. I mean, I like dogs, but. I don't like having to take care of dogs. Oh, I got pushed. That one just killed himself by walking off. Okay, cool. I have rot water and feels like having a child. Yeah, I mean, basically. that That's the problem. Oh, that will just launch me out. I need to go turn that off somehow. Oh my god. Okay, what what the fuck just happened? All right, whatever. All 
Oh, my Italian soda's here. I'll be right back. I'm back. Iron soda, no ice. Strawberry kiwi. I love strawberry. Strawberry and kiwi are like two top tier fruit. Oh. Okay, so that's how that works. Let me look this way first. Oh. Oh my god, what the heck? Come on, jump up here. Plasma battery, that's nice. Oh, not that. Come here, you. Go down there. Oh god, that... Does this... I don't think any shit comes out of this one. I don't know if I could even get to the other side here. I don't think I can. No minigun? Alright, well, I gotta use this, so. Ooh, do I see ammo? Swarm board clusters? Yes. I'm gonna say, uh, raw, potentially very, very rude statement, but religious traditions are fucking stupid. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I grew up in a very Catholic family. I fucking hate religion <laughs> so much. Then there's also the, uh, you know, the whole state of America, I won't really get into that, but yeah. I I will say I've gotten so tired of having to, like, 
transcribe some stupid book that some old dude wrote thousands of years ago that means fucking nothing to the reality of the real world happening right now. Because church and state should be totally separate. Your morals. Do not try to put your morals on me because you're religious. I don't give a shit. I don't. I really don't. It's irrelevant to me. Sorry, getting real for a moment. <laughs> Can I make this jump? Save state. Nope. Oh my god, I actually might be able to make that one. I might be able to just like cheese it and slide. Can I actually make this jump? Hold on, let me see. Nope, can't make that. That that doesn't hurt you though, so I might just be able to make my way all the way over there. Oh wow, never mind, I made it. They're gonna pour out of that door, I guarantee. I really just don't have much ammo left. How many grenades do I have? I got shotgun ammo, that, that could work. Oh, the door's locked. No. Well, that's unfortunate. There's nothing down there, so I have to play this game's rules. I can't cheese it. Wait, let me get out of the way of the shit that's about to fly at me. Or does it not come out of that? Okay, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, but here's the difference between transcribing history and transcribing the Bible. One of those things actually happened. <laughs> Lugia is trying to give attention. What? What are you trying to give my attention for? You're in Vietnam. I didn't know you were over there that quick. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, what Ghostly said is what I'm saying. Like, I, you're fine to believe whatever you want, but don't try to push your stupid... Yeah, well, in the Bible, it says this. I don't give a shit. That's a fictional book to me. It means nothing to the real world. Don't Your morals can stay your morals. They're not mine. <laughs> I don't force my mor form my morals off of religion. Like, that's just not how I operate. And you shouldn't try to make people try to operate that way either. <gasps> well, I'm fine. Um, did I like soft lock myself? Can I not get out of this area? The door opened, but I won't close. I think I might have fucked up. Can I get in here? Oh, I can't get in here. Okay, never mind. Okay, that- I needed to take that specific path. Since I didn't take that path... It didn't work. Stop existing, please. I think I might have made that throw. Let's use the split function. I never use this. I'm gonna stick someone. Oh fuck. Ugh. <laughs> I didn't really say what was that. That really didn't make it there. Plasma cannon. Ooh, chain lens, cool. Someone shot... You, I s see you. I'll just lob a grenade up there. Cool.
Yeah, I, my my beliefs are very, very straightforward. I can see dirt. I believe in dirt. I believe when I die, dirt happens. And there's nothing more. That's it. I don't believe there is any purpose in life. That's just how life goes. The Earth does not care if you exist or not. And for some reason, that makes a lot of people, like, depressed when you say that. I'm not even saying that to be hostile either, by the way. Some people feel, like, depressed when you say... This is a problem. I'm gonna fall. And take a ton of damage. Damn it. Uh, some people feel, like, depressed when you say that, but... I don't know, that, that, like, reality, like, makes me feel happier. Not every Christian sect treats gay people poorly. I mean, yes, but it is the trend. <laughs> it, it is the majority. <laughs> like, the biggest problem I've always had with religion is that if you teach people growing up that it is morally wrong to do insert thing here, they tend to look down on people that live their way that, that way. Like, that's not normal now. And now it's like you're incorrect, basically. And that really holds things back, like, big time. How do I... What do I do? Where do I go? Or they want to do it even more because they're told it's wrong. I mean, in the case of being gay, no. <laughs> I, I feel like nobody wants to be gay because they're told it's... It's wrong. If you're gay, you... You, you're gonna be gay. Like, that's the thing that happens. That's not a choice. I don't know, it's... A lot of America is kind of going through this... This thing where it's like... Okay, well, let me go back to that room. I think I must have missed something. A lot of America is going through this thing where... They're trying to push religion and Christian morals on other people. When everything they're doing is literally not what God would do. <laughs> it's like everything that we we tell them, hey, you should probably do this, this, and this. They're like, no, I'm not, I won't do that. And it's like, damn, can't do that. That might be something God would do. <laughs> you get my point. Okay, what the? Where the hell do I go? Do I have to go? Nothing down there. Do I have to go through there? Can I make this jump? I did earlier. But it wouldn't lead me anywhere. I think. Alright, hold on. Let me let me look up a walkthrough real quick. I'm I'm lost. Or go to conversion therapy. Yeah, that's funny. One of my friend's parents tried to make him go to gay conversion therapy. And his pastor was just like, no. <laughs> just told him don't. Just don't go. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to make my stream too depressing. It's just hard to avoid it with how shit America has been lately. Like, if it was easier to become a Canadian citizen and move to Vancouver... I've said this before, but that's not... Like, if you live in the Pacific Northwest, that's not too surprising, because moving to Vancouver isn't really going anywhere. Like, that's a five-hour drive north up I-5. That's just the next city up past Seattle. That's very much so part of our region. The, um... The Pacific Northwest... When people say Pacific Northwest, they mainly mean the stretch of cities of, like, Portland, Seattle, Vancouver. Because Portland to Vancouver is only 300 miles. It's not far. So nothing would change, quite literally, if I moved to Vancouver. Nothing would change except for I'm not in America anymore. I've gone to Vancouver many times for events and stuff. The entire world has been shit. I mean, yeah, but some places a lot worse than others. <laughs> Following very closely in America's foot. You're way behind America's footsteps. Very, very far behind. 
This is not to say Canada is perfect, but I don't see a world where Canada starts going, I'm going to ban abortion. I'm going to try to make gay lives just completely terrible. I'm going to try, like, literally legally punishing people that help trans, underage trans people. Like, some of the laws I've seen passed are just absurd. Like, completely no care for the people around them. Okay, here's the room I'm stuck in. All right, cool. Where do you go? What do you do here? I'm looking at a walkthrough, by the way. Just to leave your stay of the drive nine hours. Yeah, states are big. Get Smurfs. Welcome. Thanks for following. States are big. Um, a lot of people don't realize how far north Portland is. For some reason, when like if people don't know things about the West Coast, the natural assumption when they hear Portland, they think Portland's in like the middle of Oregon and on the coast, which is so far away from where Portland actually is. Like Portland's not on the ocean at all. It, it takes like three hours to get to the ocean. Um, so we're not near the coast at all. And Portland itself is on the border of Washington State. So we're really far north. We're actually further north than Toronto is. I feel like great is relative to an American. <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> oh, really? That's just what you have to do? Shit. Okay. I mean, at least you'd have health care. That's a big one. Okay. So I can actually make that jump. I've made that jump before. By doing that. Huh. It is right here. That's the end. That's all I had to do. <laughs> so, so annoying. I have played Postal Brandy. I have no interest in the Postal franchise. I don't get it. Like, as a whole, I already didn't get Postal's humor. It just reads off like 4chan humor, humor to me, and I just think it's cringy and dumb and stupid. Uh, but on top of that, I don't want to support Running With Scissors. <laughs> uh, if you don't understand what I mean, their CEO is like a heavy anti-vaxxer, extreme far-right type person. Like, go look at his Twitter. It is a trip. So, uh... It's made by a different studio, yes, but it's still running with Scissors IP. They actually contacted me. It's like, hey, we'll give you a key. They like many, many months ago, and I was just being polite and like, all right, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it, and you know, I had no reason to say anything bad against them because they haven't done anything, as far as I know. I just in general don't like. I don't. I already don't get the appeal to Postal. It just is so stupid to me. Like the humor goes over my head. I, it just reads out like angsty teenager edgy humor. Look, it's so edgy. It's funny. It's like, no, it's just it's cringy. It's just dumb. I don't find pissing on people to put them out from being on fire funny. It's just stupid. Especially since the most recent postal game is like not even really humor. It's just kind of legit. <laughs> his political opinions, which is kind of fucky. We need Duke Piss. Will this? Hmm, can I? Alright, I made that.
I okay, so I don't have like a morally objective stance against Duke Nukem, but I also don't really understand the appeal of Duke Nukem. Now I know this is a hot take. People love Duke, but like Duke wasn't really ever intended to be a a real badass character. He was meant to kind of be like a parody, right? It's kind of how his initial take was supposed to be. And then over time, people are like, wow, Duke's so badass. And they, they start genuinely thinking Duke is badass. And like, I don't... What? <laughs> I, I don't get that. Let's, uh, let's do this. Split function. I love how much gore is in this game. Caveman. Oog. Serious Sam is way better. I would much rather have Serious Sam over Duke Nukem. That's probably a hot take, but Serious Sam is just funny. Have you played Doom Eternal? Uh, use the search engine on my channel. <laughs> That's like, I feel like, so, I don't remember who it was. I think it was Giant Bomb. They basically said like, the problem with Duke Nukem is that Duke Nukem, Duke Nukem has stayed the same, and we've, like, matured and gotten older. And it's just not funny. Although, I personally, I never cared much. The gameplay is fun. Like, don't get me wrong. Duke Nukem 3D is a really good game. I'm just speaking on Duke as a character. Wait, do I not have a flamethrower anymore? What happened to my flamethrower? That, okay, so that is exactly how I've always felt. Duke is just like Johnny Bravo if people actually thought Johnny Bravo was cool. That is exactly how I feel about Duke Nukem. I don't- I don't get it. I would rather have Johnny Bravo, because at least he's funny, and the world understands the dude is just, like, a loser, but, like, everyone loves him. <laughs> like, I would just much rather have that. It's way cooler. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Duke Nukem was the main inspiration for Johnny Bravo. That wouldn't be surprising at all to me. Okay, this is the opening level, I think. Johnny Bravo Forever Sun. I hold on, hold on. I there has to be Johnny Bravo mods for Doom. For Duke Nukem, I mean. Like there's no way there isn't. Like there just has to be. Duke Nukem Johnny Bravo. I mean, there's of course a bunch of videos on it. Let's just look up images here real quick. All right, hold up. Look at that. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, enough of this. That's so perfect. <laughs> Someone clip that, please. What? Why did the door close on me? Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I can hear that in my head. Why do the doors not open? What is this? Thank you. So this is where I was. I pushed a button in here. I don't know what the button did. Full plaza ammo. I gotta use this. Alright, so what is... Oh, I pushed the button again and it did something. Am I on a timer here? There it is. Uh, Australia is not perfect either. <laughs> Australia's government's kind of special. The main thing about Australia that Funny enough, the main thing about Australia, I wouldn't want to live there for. I'm trying to talk and speak at the, at the same time. Um, I don't know. It's just very secluded. You're really in the middle of nowhere. Like, you just have no connection rest with the rest of the world. And I'm too spoiled by everything we can do in America. Like, if I moved to Vancouver, I wouldn't be giving anything up. Holy shit, I really threw that one. Oh my god. Probably had to give up your guns. It was so fucking what? <laughs> I, I would much rather have everyone give up their guns. That is how I feel, genuinely. I would rather have everyone give up their guns than everyone have every gun imaginable. At least then I wouldn't have to worry about shit. That so it's actually kind of wild to me that not being able to own guns is like a main thing for a lot of Americans. Like, I won't go there. I can't own my guns. Like, I, this is not a big deal to me. Absolutely not a big deal. I got my shotgun just over there. You know, I keep that for home defense. But I've also always said that if you came to my house and there was a big federal mandate that said, you can't use your AR-15 or you're any, like, say, basically military weapon that turns semi-auto for civilian sales. You can't use this, and it has to be locked up at the range, and that's the only time you can use it. I'd be down. I am literally never going to have to use a gun like that. I, like, I'm a civilian. What purpose do I have a gun like that? It's purely a hobbyist gun. So keep it at the range. That makes sense to me. Like, that's totally logical and, like, fair, right? You still got your, your pump action for home defense. You still got your pistols. Like, well, I don't, this is not, a, I'm not taking away your freedom by doing that. And anyone arguing that they're taking away freedom by banning certain weapons? Well, then they already did that forever ago, technically. You can't buy explosives. You can't buy full auto weapons. Like, they've already been doing that. So, I, I, I don't know. It's There's so much, like, double standards and everything. Oh, that went right through the, uh, okay. Oh, I got puked and got over it. No. I mean, yeah, but Tannerite doesn't count as, like... You know what I mean. <laughs> That's not really something you're going to be bombing a plane with or something. It's not like you can go out and buy grenade launchers very easily. Oh, that guy's leg was gone.
yeah, so like, when it comes to owning guns in general, the, the thing I tell people all the time is that the first thing I did when I turned 18 is I bought a shotgun. You know, I bought a pump action shotgun the day I turned 18. Quick background check, in 15 minutes I got my shotgun. I'm 31 now. That's over a decade ago. And no one's checked on me. I've never had to do another background check. Never had any sort of mental health checkup. Like, you know how much can change in someone's life in one year? You can go insane. Like, that's why all these mass shootings are happening. People change so much over time. And I feel like guns should be regulated like, like cars are. You should need to get a license every year. You should need to renew your license. Like, there should be someone looking after you. You have a deadly weapon. Like, no matter what way you spin it. It doesn't matter if it's just being used for hobby purposes. It's a deadly weapon. And this is coming from a gun owner. It's not like I'm just some crazy liberal. No. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the part that always I, I find hilarious is that you can't really have a conversation about guns in America without people spinning it as like, oh, you just want to take away all our guns, stupid libtards, you know, stuff like that. And like, I'm literally a gun owner, but okay. Cursed Halo got an update? What? Also, yeah, there's that. My constitutional right. Man, it's a shame that Canada doesn't have a real democracy. It's a shame that Europeans aren't free. <laughs> Just wild. Sorry, I could poke holes in that all the time. What do they add the Cursed Halo? Uh. Oh, that was an elevator. I thought it was a ladder. Um... Now Thanos is streamer friendly. Is that the only thing they changed? <laughs> I don't know if this is going to come back down. Twenty-five or less? No, I'm I'm thirty-one. I was born in ninety-one. The thing that gives away my age is I have really bad bags under my eyes. But like, I've had those since I was twenty. That's genetic, and I can't do anything about it. I also get like a bunch of really dumb comments that are like, "Man, you look like shit. You should get some sleep." Or it's like, "Man, you look really, really tired. You need to sleep more." But in all reality, what that translates to is, "Dude, you look like shit." <laughs> this is genetic, and I can't do anything about it. So like, bruh. <laughs> Don't be an ass, just, just don't bother. It's like pointing out someone's acne. They have a mirror, they know. I know you're trying to help, but like, we know it's not helping. Hello Venom, welcome to stream. That still hit him, wow. Minigun ammo, nice. I thought that almost killed me. Dude, elevators terrify me. Ever since I played Half-Life 1. Uh oh. I'm just gonna leave this area. I don't want to be in here. I got a lot of ammo for this, so I should probably use it.
Oh, what the fuck? Door, please. Oh my god, sit still. I I am down with people joining NATO. I like how everything Russia did kind of like had the opposite result of what they wanted. They were trying to intimidate people not to join NATO. And so everyone was like, you're going to threaten wars against us? Uh, okay, I'll join NATO. <laughs> like, man. Smells like baked potatoes. Why are you smelling his cat? Wait. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure they expected to just be able to run in and take Ukraine quickly and didn't expect Ukraine to fight back as hard as they are. Because, I mean, th that is kind of exactly what they did in Georgia, but nobody cared because Georgia's not part of the Western world. So they're doing literally the same thing. Here for the Battle of LA video. Well, welcome to Twitch. That's the way we came in. Okay, all these doors are locked. Where do I go? Um. Oh, ladder. Of course. So the ladder I don't see. Here we go, okay. This is one of those games where, even though it's super linear, it's so easy to get lost. Yeah, this game was not received very positively, which is weird, because I like it. Yeah, uh, I think the war in Ukraine has really exposed Russia as like saying a lot of empty threats. They we at this point know what their military is capable of, and it's not much. It's not as much as they're saying it was. A lot of it was just bluffs. I hear lots of deaths. Oh. God, this is like probably the most badass turret. In my... Okay, so obviously none of us... Well, I don't know if any of us live in Russia, but... I don't think many of us in chat live in Russia, so I can't speak 100% for certain on what the civilian response is, but for the most part, it seems to be, we don't want this, and now we're suffering because you're a fucking idiot and you're ruining everything, basically. And that seems to be the general response. And I would say, obviously, none of my friends want a war in Ukraine, but 
if they were the type to want that, I probably wouldn't have been friends with them to begin with, so... And I said this yesterday when I was streaming, but if there is a game to buy on day one, it is Stalker 2. It is 100% Stalker 2. I mean, the situation they got thrown into is beyond fucked. I mean, their community manager is literally fighting in the war. Russia still is good, just not good government. I mean, I said the same thing on Twitter. I said, despite the fucked up situation, don't turn the hate against Russian civilians. They don't really want this for the most part. At least that's what I'm assuming. Where do I go? Like, okay, so this is a good example of, like, getting lost in levels, even though the level is very linear. Like, where do I go here? I come out of the store, I came out of this elevator, there's nothing else... Oh, there's a ladder here. Super easy to miss. Where does this lead? Okay, up here. Health. Ammo, but there's nothing actually up here. This is just a good vantage point. So where do I go? Meme God, 68 plus one. What a solid name. <laughs> Thanks for following. Okay, for real, what, what do I do here? Find the Senate. Tell them we are lost. Please. Oh. They are in the Senate building. Behind the statue of the God of Justice. Only the Senate can stop them. Go. Please. And the door wouldn't open until I saw that one guy. It's just very easy to miss little tiny things that required you that you're required to do to, for the level to continue. Yeah, yeah, the the results generally when it, something like this happens, when you have two countries warring for literally no reason due to higher-ups being complete shit and don't care if people die, uh, making their whole country suffer, is that you tend to have people that hate each other's countries. Like, and then that's... That's how it works now. I did not want to shoot him. I need to get rid of all the regular guys. I want to shoot a rocket at that tank. Oh, well, never mind. The tank's gone. Cool. Yeah, it's... There's a certain level of, like, what you need to do to keep mental health. Uh, and everyone's sort of limit is different. It, it leaves you mixed, because on one part of you, you want to actively, like, get as much news as you possible on something. You want to stay up to date. But after a certain point, you can't, like, let it consume your entire head and let that all you think about. You'll get just really upset. It's, like, sad and just can't. Oh shit, hello.
What? Oh, not that. Someone just made like a really funny video about the news that's just really true. Where like most of the news is just useless garbage. As like people are angry that Taco Bell isn't bringing back nacho fries. And then you look at the actual news article and it's just like screenshots of a few tweets. And then you're like, well, is there any actual, like, news to pick up? And it's like, the economy's gonna collapse. There's hatred, racism, and bigotry everywhere. <laughs> the world is falling apart, there's wars all over the place, and you're like, okay, can we go back to the other stuff now? <laughs> Okay, real talk, nacho fries are really good. I, I usually am not someone that likes fast food. Like, fast food in general, it just doesn't make me feel very good. You know, because it's fast food. But, uh, Taco Bell is like my guilty pleasure. I don't know, I can, I can eat Taco Bell and I'm fine. I see someone right there on the other side of the door. All right, well, that one's just stuck. I don't really care about any much anymore to be honest. Okay, that's just a really, really shit take. <laughs> that you should care, just not the point of like derailing your mental health. Especially with, like, local politics. Because doing nothing is worse than being, like, voting for shitty things. They just killed each other. I never said you had the... you could do anything. Okay, well, if you're being apathetic, then that actually is just sort of a problem. Because there should just be a baseline bit of empathy. Wait, why are we in a modern library suddenly? Hold up. That is not how you climb a ladder. Ooh, ammo. Oh, I already have that ammo? Okay, cool. What kind of... Okay, hold up. Let's take a moment to appreciate how this library is laid out. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen. <laughs> Why would you make a library like this? Uh, okay. Not far. Cool. Apathetic is not the word. Welcome, Trinity. Wow, I read that name wrong. <laughs> Apathetic isn't really the word. Teaching your mind to, like, shut off to keep your own self, like, mental health is good. But I still have empathy towards people's lives who are getting fucked up. Especially over here with how our laws are getting all kinds of totally dumb. <laughs> Things are getting worse. 
Death Skulls, welcome. It would never happen, but I really do wish the West Coast could just like break off from the rest of the US. Again, obviously, it, that's a pipe dream. That'll never happen. But it'd be cool. Yeah, I just love the devlog update. I get when Stalker 2, 2 comes out, that's a day one buy for me. We have our orders. Keep fighting. I got a rocket ammo up here. Wait, Cerebral Bore... Not Cerebral Bore. I forget what that weapon is actually called. Do I not have any nuke ammo? Oh, come on. I wanted more nukes. How much plasma ammo do I got? I have full plasma ammo. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh, wait, you're still... Stop existing, please. Thank you. Oh, God. Stalker Roblox game. What? <laughs> you know, I shouldn't be surprised. I really shouldn't. At what point... What doesn't it... Oh, shit. What doesn't exist in Roblox at this point? Are they just gonna kill it? No, I'll just rocket it. There, let's watch him murder them. No, he's gonna go for me. What? what? I'm stuck. There we go. I'm fine though, he couldn't do any damage to me. We'll rip that guy. They're celebrating even though they're dead. Oh, you... you have to go. No, where's my minigun? There we go. I have not played the first Shell Shock, and no. It's so easy to get stuck on things in this game. I hear footsteps. Pitter patter over here. Oh my god, there's a lot more than just that. I saw that guy up there who it was you that was shooting me. Stop. Jumping on things is so hard in this game, you just kind of get stuck. Hold on a moment. What, what quotes am I missing here? Hold up. Map geometry moment. Yeah, there's a lot of that nonsense. Ow. Go away. I find myself using the minigun more than, like, anything else. It's 
use the fake gravity gun. That's where I came from? Okay, cool. I'm not gonna cover a Roblox game. All right, here we go. So I get over here. All right, I get it. I found where I where to go. Okay, this doesn't work on that guy. What the? Why is it not working? What is this shit? Go back, please. Oh, definitely not that. For some reason, the uh, explosion wasn't happening. Oh shit. Sure, fuck it. I love this weapon, dude. It's so violent. That's that's better than Cerebral War. Quote me. <laughs> a little more than a death ray. <laughs> Didn't uh, Nintendo shut down some Roblox Pokemon game? Because of course they would. Yeah, I'm surprised Pokemon MMO is still there. How did you get over here? I know, it's not new news. I'm very aware of that. Why does the texture on this wall look like meat? What is that even supposed to be? Minigun rounds, I needed that. I'm not gonna use it yet because I have very little ammo with it. Sit still. Okay, hold up. Oh, not that. End of level, yeah.
I don't. I miss really interesting weapons. I missed having this awesome dumb split function. Even like old games that tried to be quote unquote re- like more realistic and believable, still had like cool split functions. Like the original Killzone. I can't tell you how disappointed I was when I played Killzone Two. And there wasn't like a cool underslung shotgun or anything like any of that unique split function stuff. They were just regular guns. They didn't even have Killzone 1's cool art design for the guns. They were just regular guns. Like that bullpup ISA weapon just kind of looked like another. It looked like a bullpup M4 now, just just an M4. That's what it was. It's like, why? Why'd you change the art style? That was like the most recognizable thing. I don't know what Stalkcraft is. Are you talking about Starcraft or something totally different? Here is my um maybe hot take. Killzone first per- Killzone. Sony first person shooters kind of suck. They're really overrated. Like super super overrated. I feel like exclusives almost always will be. Killzone was not that good. Killzone 2 and 3 definitely was not very good. <laughs> Single player wise it's just Call of Duty but in space. That was it. That's all the campaigns were. Multiplayer was, was probably fine. I never ended up playing it. People seem to really like the multiplayer, so I'll give them that. Uh, and Resistance 1 and 2. I'm just going to say it. They will sucked. I hated both of them. They're fucking ass. I don't know why people like them. Resistance 3 was very good, though. I, I will give them that. I did really like Resistance 3. And Killzone... Was it Mercenaries? The one on the PS Vita? That one is also very good. I am definitely making a hot take. Sony fans are... Sony fanboys are the worst fanboys when it comes to games. They're worse than Nintendo fanboys. That says a lot. Sony fanboys will just defend their exclusives no matter what. They're so aggressive about it. I actually turned the uh, comments of Resistance 1 and 2 reviews off. Because it was like a lot of it was just people coming in. It's like, wow, fucking shit, stupid opinion. Why would anyone listen to just, just insults, basically, and nothing adding to the actual comments. Uh... And then they'll like leave comments on other videos. They're like, well, you can't handle and other people have different opinions than you. I'm like, no, that's literally what you're doing, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Till I didn't read fanboys are dumb and the worst. They are above me. Button? Yeah, button. Door is open. Rip that guy. <laughs> that guy's just getting pelted with shotgun shells. Holy shit. Resistance 2, everyone kind of just agrees, is bad for the most part. You know, because it is. Resistance 1 is the one I don't get. Everyone loves Resistance 1, but for me, enemies weren't fun. At all. They were just incredibly bullet spongy. Like, majorly bullet spongy. And difficulty was just bullshit. 
It was just like run through these bullet sponge enemies that take a million bulls to kill until you finally get to a checkpoint when they stop spawning. And like half of your encounters work that way. So it was definitely the difficulty that killed resistant resistance one for me. I thought it was too hard in bullshit ways, like artificial difficulty that made it just bad. Like, if you make the enemies not have so much health, if you make them actually flinch when you shoot them, and if you make, like, get rid of half of the clown closets, Resistance 1 would be a good game. It's just a game that's ruined by difficulty. What's the last console actually? I, I honestly don't feel like now the elevator moves. I honestly don't feel like there's been a good PlayStation, like a really, really, really good PlayStation since the PS2. The PS3 at the end of its lifespan added quite a bit, but there's not really anything on the PS3 that I couldn't have just played on the 360 that I cared about. And that is sort of a me thing. That That's like a personal opinion thing. I don't know. Sony exclusives have never really had much of my interest. PS3 generation and on. And they've definitely, like, capitalized on sort of the just cinematic experience. You know, like, the new God of War and stuff. And those games are great, don't get me wrong. But, uh, meh. Space. It's interesting. Yeah, let's hold on. Let's list some Sony exclusives. Just to get just to remind myself what they are. Metal Gear Solid, never cared about it. I don't like stealth. I think stealth is really goddamn boring. So I've never never got the appeal to Metal Gear Solid. I already mentioned how I think Killzone is incredibly overrated. Resistance 3 is great, I will say that. But Resistance 1 and 2 also suck. Uh, God of War's good. I can respect that. I like God of War quite a lot. What else? I liked Resistance 3 a lot, but it was also just kind of like... Just Half-Life 2 again. <laughs> That's, it, it really was just Half-Life 2. I don't have any rockets, it's unfortunate. I do have... So, I, oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. And I got rockets, so I want to save them. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a boss here. Uncharted, I've never played. Looks fine.
Why is it teleporting? Am I, uh... Am I doing that right? I feel like I'm not doing that right. What do I need to do here? Are those the generators up there? How do I get up there? Hold on. I don't remember if I've... I'm going to make a save state so I don't have to do the whole level again when I fuck this up. That door closed. Uh, those guys are just not really giving a shit. Why was that door open? I think I just need to shoot it. Okay, yeah. Just lots and lots of damage. I think the, the turrets might have blocked the first rocket shots I attempted. Did it. Who is shooting at me? It's you. The Last of Us looks really good, but I haven't played it. It's like a lot of Sony, a lot of Sony exclusives are games that just sort of like, eh, that looks fine, but nowhere near enough for me to give a shit enough to buy a PlayStation. Put it on PC, I'll probably play it. If you don't, then I don't care. It's not worth a console. Thoughts on Atomic Heart? It looks okay. I'm, I'm definitely interested in it, but I mean, it's not out yet, so I'd, there's only so much we can say. The only game franchise I have cared enough to buy a console for is Halo. That's not true. Pokemon is the other. I definitely buy consoles for Pokemon, for sure. I would not own my Switch if Pokemon didn't exist. I would just not really care enough. Evil within. I can't even tell you what that is off the top of my head. I, I know of the game, but I can't put like a picture in my head of the game. Oh my god. Oh, I'm out of ammo, that's why. All right, well, that was a fun thing to open a door to. I still have not played Breath of the Wild. I need to. I definitely do need to. I played every other Zelda game. Well, every other 3D Zelda game, but I've not played Breath of the Wild yet. I, I don't add. There's no reason other than just I haven't yet. old classic video game elevators that magically move on their own. You are very brave, warrior. We are indebted to you. We have been trapped for hours. How was the situation outside? Things go poorly. Bruckner is waiting to send the main assault into the city, but the battle is nearly over. Your troops will not be able to repel them. It's as we feared. We have no choice but to destroy the city. But there are still civilians in the city. We would kill hundreds. If the Red Snake captures the city intact, his troops will be able to march on Galliana in days. Days, brothers. This city is the only way across the Great Chasm for 200 miles. Destroying the city will give Galliana three weeks to prepare for assault. 
If hundreds die so that hundreds of thousands might live, so be it. If Galliana falls, millions will follow. It is the only way. But all four members of the Senate must be present to release the tethers. We do not know if the fourth still lives. Can you find the fourth and protect him until the tethers are released? Yes. Thank the gods. The fourth may be trapped underneath the Great Hall. It is a massive building with a huge central spire. We'll prepare the first three release terminals. Once you find the fourth, take him to the last terminal. He will know the way. Without his authorization, we cannot release the tethers. One of our guards will show you the way. Pray that you are in time. Please release Wind Waker on Switch. I mean, all right, so I have the hot take. Wind Waker looks like ass. <laughs> like graphically, I, I've never liked the cartoony style. I think the best art style for Zelda was Twilight Princess. I've, I'm one of those people. Tommy. Tommy from Prey is way definitely cooler. You gotta switch just if you wanna play Sora and Smash. I am not. Hmm. So I really like platform fighters. That is one of my other genres that I play a lot. But I hate newer Smash. <laughs> I hate pretty much everything that doesn't follow the melee style of Smash. Everything that doesn't give me, like, movement and, like, actual deep anything. <laughs> If you really like playing neutral for most of the game and dealing with characters that have really strong gimmicks but then half their moveset is bad but they have one strong annoying gimmick and they're more annoying to play than the fighting it, then to... Man, that's how I feel about Ultimate. I feel like every character is designed in a way that's fun to play as but not fun to play against. So, like, if I'm playing platform fighters, I'm either playing Project M or I'm playing Rivals of Ether. In fact, I- Oh, shit, hello. In fact, I'm- I run the- the portal on Rivals of Ether scene. I run tournaments and stuff like that for- What the hell is going on in here? Ugh. I guess I don't. No, it's not the cell shading. This I like the look of cell shading. It's the cartoony art style. I would rather have it look realistic. It's more so that we already had kind of had like a way for Zelda to look and then they changed it entirely and it's yuck. I know it ages better technically, but I still think I'd rather play Twilight Princess. Steven Ultimate is really real. I've been hearing that, but I don't play Ultimate enough to have an opinion on it, so. You just described Hero with what you said. Yeah, fuck fucking Hero. Hero is such a stupid character design. It's just annoying. <laughs> Nothing about it is entertaining. There's an override switch inside one of the hangers below us. Go find the override and I'll open the door when it's activated. Now hurry. I really need ammo for my uh Okay, I guess I can't break the window. Oh, but I can do that. Alright, hold up. What the? What? Are you serious? How is that all missing?
Getting some plasma ammo. I, okay, that's something I do actually hate, though. I hate that Nintendo re-releases things, and they're like, we haven't really done anything. It runs in kind of a, a higher resolution now. Give us $60, please. Like, no. No, fuck off of that. <laughs> Hell no. Like, when they re-released uh, Skyward Sword, which, by the way, is the worst Zelda game. Not really a hot take. I did not like Skyward Sword at all. But then they re-release it for like no reason and there's no real advantages and they re-release it for 60 bucks. Like, bruh. Stop. That's a big tank. Need flechette gun? Hold up. Why do I not have a flechette gun? What version of this game do I recommend? Probably the GameCube version. The Xbox version looks better, but it runs at 30 FPS and drops to 20 pretty often. Hold on a moment here. I feel like it's not even a bug. I feel like they just designed levels to be that way. Because I've noticed on certain levels, they just remove some of your guns. Like the pistol goes away for a while and you eventually get it back. Almost all of those pellets missed him. Whoa. Give me that, please. Make everyone puke. Uh, okay, what do I do here? Can someone clip that? Just so I can have a clip, like a good clip of the, the poison arrows for the video later. Oh, 
Well, let's just club this guy. Oh, what the fuck? There we go. Okay, there's a lot of enemies pouring out, but I don't know what I need to do here. Follow the enemies, I guess. I'm not a fan of these parts of levels where they're just like, hey, go find out something, and then they just constantly trickle in enemies at you. Like, no, stop. You're just having me waste ammo. And also, it's really annoying. Just tell me what the fuck to do. Uh, no, I never played Mercenaries. Nothing in here. They just keep spawning in here. Oh, wait. Do you mind fucking dying, please? Oh, God damn it. Wait, that worked out. Like, why did they let me go all the way over there? This is where I needed to go. Need launchers, so they took away my rocket launcher too. Cool. I would love to rock in GZ Doom. I feel like that would be like a perfect mix. Especially with how insane uh, GZ Doom has gotten. Like, actually. Uh. Do I go back up to the top? Why can't I even go through this part? Yeah, Turok 2008 was okay. It was, um... Not exactly what I would call the best thing I've ever played. It's not really a classic. What the... But it was, like, enjoyable. <laughs> Those guys are still trying to follow me. Okay, hello. Oh my god! <laughs> Didn't have a leg to stand on. Someone clipped that, Jesus Christ.
Uh, do I need to destroy this? No, something's supposed to happen. Whoa. Not that. Uh, I don't know what this button is supposed to do. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Go back, I guess. Well, they're they're fighting people, so something happened. Are they? No. I love how much gore is in this game. Oh, fuck. Did he die? He's just gone. Okay. I've never been a huge Resident Evil fan, no. Oh, God damn it. Bring back my bow, thank you. I'll let that guy throw up. Poison arrows are probably the most fun thing in this game. I don't know why. I love how much gore is in it, but this is kind of like how things were back then, right? Whoa! No, oh, no, I got. Yeah, this is definitely getting into the part of uh, Turok where there's quite a few levels where it just seems to go and go and never stop. Just keep going. Wonder if modern shooter games can be as ridiculous as brutal as older ones. I mean, Doom exists. And Mortal Kombat exists. So, like, still are. Yeah, if there's one really, really big critique to give the Turok Evolution is that its pacing is really bad. It can be a lot of fun. The jungle levels are really great, I would argue. Hold on, let me see. Do I have all my weapons back yet? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. 
Got my rocket launcher back. I don't have my, um... No, that's my plasma gun. Alright guys, let, let me finish this game. I, I, <laughs> enough requests for literally any other game other than the one I'm playing right now. If you have me, if you ever request that you want me to play, uh, go to my Discord. I have actually wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Oh, I can't pull it up over over the game. Wait, there we go. Okay. Here is my Discord. I have a game request channel. It's first person shooters only. That's all I'm ever going to cover. And of course, someone just feel like you should play Spider Man. Oh wait, no, they're talking there. Uh, yeah. Just request me to play some games, and I will pin games that I want to cover. Just don't at me when you do this. That gets really annoying. I'm going to comb through it. I'm going to see it, so you don't need to at me. So just join my Discord and recommend things there. It's still good to have my minigun back. Not that, holy... Oh, come on. Other than the flying section, yeah, that's generally what people feel like. It's like, the game was pretty fun. The flying section sucked, though. But, like, for the most part, the game is good. Your enemies. Wow, I made one of the <laughs> All right. Somebody clip that, please. Where the fuck did you come from? Okay. I'm just gonna cerebral pour this guy. Actually, it's... I don't know what it's called. Amazing. Swarm boar, thank you. Now that I think about it, I didn't... I've only ever covered one Wolfenstein game. That was New Colossus, which... Contrary to popular opinion, I thought it was good. I think people are dumb. It's another one of those games where it's like, oh, it's for social justice warriors. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I literally just ignore anything they say from then point on whenever people argue like that. It's like, god damn, so st stupid complaints. I do need to cover the new order. Eventually. I'm not doing that anytime soon, but eventually I'll get to it. Oh! Deering with the Prime. Thank you for the Prime. Yeah, 
New Colossus is great. I haven't covered Youngblood. I've never even played Youngblood, so... I already covered Old... Oh, Old Blood. I think I... Re did I make a review of Old Blood? Hold up. I actually don't remember. I'm pretty sure I did. Or that might have been just before I started making analysis videos. I think I just did a Let's Play of it. Because I did a playthrough of New Order. Yeah, no, I just did a playthrough of it. I never made an analysis video of it. I'll be honest, I don't know. I just kind of like... I really, really enjoyed the new Wolfenstein games. But I like don't really want to make videos of them. Like, I just kind of don't really want to turn those games into work. I actually liked Old Blood more than New Order, as far as like combat and gameplay is concerned. Obviously, the story is nowhere good, nowhere near as good, but yeah. I, I have no idea. All I know is everyone complained about Social Justice Warriors. A lot of extra people complained that a game about killing Nazis <laughs> was just a game for the left. I'm like, uh-huh. Alright, just, just go ahead and tell me you're a Nazi then, sure. Oh, shit. Dude, I love the Hitler section of that game. I actually, like, my mind just went full stupid. I actually thought that was in um, the New Order. But no, that was in... That was in uh, Colossus. I had no idea. I don't know why I didn't remember that. The Hitler scene is, like, one of the best scenes in any game I've played. It was just fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Arizona. I dude, I miss the days where like co-op was the expected for shooters. Oh, there's a path that keeps going there. I thought it was just like a cliff. Okay, hello. Oh, well, that wasn't too difficult. I keep forgetting what this is called. I keep wanting to call it Cerebral Boar. That's just like stuck in my head, but that's not what this is.
Uh, games like Left 4 Dead are fine, but I prefer more like linear story-based co-op games. I miss games like like Halo, stuff like that. Always had co-op until Infinite came around, anyway. Dark Tide, isn't that the um? Oh shit. Isn't that the one in GZ Doom? Or like some retro shooter? Maybe not GZ Doom, but... I'm glad they're finally making first-person shooters, because first-person shooters are just like a perfect fit for that, right? I don't even know if this is really doing damage to it. I'm just gonna waste all my explosive arrows. Ow. I don't really have a choice. Oh my god, how many of them are there? Well, that was close. Forty K Left 4 Dead type. Call. What's the one that's the um, like Jeezy Doom looking thing? I just remember there being a retro shooter. Oh, that went to the left. Fell down there, yeah. I really hate how I have to be walking straight forward for that to hit. You have a rock launcher? I'm just not gonna fuck with you. No, pull out the fucking rocket, thank you. There we are. That's a weird bug. No, not Necromunda. Necromunda was not very good, honestly. It's the retro Doom-like game. That's the one I'm talking about. Oh, I didn't say co-op game. I don't think it's co-op. I don't know what the name of it is, though. Is it just called Bolt Gun? I'll wait for this to load and then I'll go look at it. It looks good, though. I, I If I remember correctly, I, it's on Steam and I already wishlisted it. Okay. It's gonna take so long to load. Uh yeah, here it is. I mean, sure, if you're going to name a trailer after something, that's an accurate name. I'm just surprised it took him so long to start making first-person shooters based off Warhammer. Like, I'm not really attached to 40k at all. I, I don't really care about the front. That, that's kind of a harsh way to put it. I've just never been interested. It's not that I don't care, it's that I've never been interested, right? It just never piqued my interest. Um, 
but this seems like it would naturally suit a first person shooter. Like it just seems like that would be a perfect fit and they never made, well, I mean, they started to, but like, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Cause this just looks good. Like, I want this. It's coming out on literally everything. Sometime in 2023. Sure. Uh, I don't know who's developing it. I don't care. It looks good. Some poison arrows. Let's go ahead and use those. Actually, hold up. Let me see, how far away am I from the end of the game? I'm on chapter 10, right? No. I'm at the end of chapter 10, I think. I have... Many more hours. <laughs> I have quite a few more hours before I beat this game. And I've already been streaming for a long time, so I might call the stream here. Call it good for now. Okay. I'll probably quickly beat up this game in my uh, spare time. Just mash that out and then start working on the review for it. So. It's been fun. Uh, I mean, I haven't played this game in a very long time. It's about what I remember it being. It's, uh, the jungle levels are pretty fun. Flying levels I hated back then and I still hate them now. Everything in between is just kind of a lot of filler. That's the tooling I didn't read on this game. But, uh, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. I will be streaming Turok 2008 Monday and then make a video of that. I should be able to marathon that in one stream. And I have, like, multiple streams, so. I love the uh, this, this opening menu back when games just looked good. I might just do some more recording of this and start the, start the video that way. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you next Monday.